Perplexity. Yeah. I think we're running. You running? Yeah, just waiting for the confirmation. Spooky, man. Yeah, we're up. We running? Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. Right, shalom, shalom. Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises onto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Kachwadash. And double honors onto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And I want to see brothers out there in the highways and the byways teaching this word in all sincerity and in truth. Shalom to you brothers and sisters out there listening and learning and uh, supporting the ministry. And the title is Spooky Times, man, because right now, we definitely in the last hours of the last days, man. No doubt, man. Right now, it's spooky. The spooky settings is very high. You know, there's so many things happening in the world. And from, from the perspective of the world, it's not good. Unprecedented events are happening. Not just one event, but multiple, multiple events are all happening at the same time. And many of these events these cataclysms will lead to the final prophecies coming to pass the mark of the, the mark of the beast which is already set and prepared um, uh, the time of Jacob's trouble the um, uh, um, World War 3 because you see how spooky it's getting between America and, 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 and Russia right now it's getting spooky between NATO and Russia right now and, and the various allies there's all kind of uh, uh, um, lies near close <laughs> uh, uh, events happening in, in these different countries like oil rigs um, Venezuela you had oil rig blow up in um, Venezuela you had an oil rig blow up in, in Cuba two allies in it then you got this you got ongoing unrest going on in um, Iran. in Iran you got all these um, uh, um, air raids that have been happening in um, Syria to the point where uh, the state, Israeli state, is bombing in Syria. But then I heard the American base got bombed the other day too, and there was American casualties. So there's, listen, it's spooky times right now. Now ain't the time to play games. He's a, mm. In Second Ezra, Ezra chapter nine verse one, and he asked me then and said, "Measure thou the time diligently in itself, and when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told thee before, then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time." wherein the highest will begin to visit the world which he made. Right, so the, the effects of the of these prophecies that are written, man, are, are the signs that the Mosai is, you know, the day of the Lord is coming, right? And the Mosai is, is, is priming, he's priming the world for this great destruction, man, this great evil that's gonna come upon the earth, man, okay? But people are ignorant to the fact that this is all orchestrated by the Heavenly Father. It's all written here, you know, in black and white, even though not everyone can get it, but it's there in front of everybody and, and people don't understand what's going on right now. You know, and you and another thing is you can see that the majority of people are under a spell. They're evidently asleep because the way how it's spooky, the the way how it's spooky right now, all these people should be in bunkers. All these people should be should be preparing, in, preparing for the worst. Yeah. But they're not. Look at listen, just the food situation alone, the, the food security of the nations with everything that's happened over the last 10 years especially in the last two years for Europe and every country is like yep the, 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 the harvest is fucked every, every I, I see articles almost on a daily basis or oh, France the corn harvest or Italy this harvest or this wheat harvest over here or that harvest here is down by 40% this that and the other spooky hella spooky and the average person la, da, la, da, da. they just don't they're just oblivious to the spookiness that's happening in the world right now. No, no, nothing to see here. <laughs> they're, they, they're oblivious. They're totally under the spell of of the media and whatever. They, they can't they can't basically settle their mind. They're in a state of constant confusion. And going from one dr dramaticism to another. Oh Megan, Megan, they're they're caught up in a in a in a in, in distractions. So they can never really be awesome. in a state where they can fully analyze anything that's happening in real time at any time Un really to understand the severity they of what's can't going understand on nothing them. because these elites they constantly got especially through the use of celebrity media they constantly got some drama for you to think about and then before you can even digest that drama oh megan start megan farted on the bus and and it upset the royals and this person must be racist because and then no but i'm not racist and then it's all this and then it, 
The other yeah. day I was thinking about that. There was one guy who was doing a video and he was like, why does, because Megan came over for the funeral. Why was that even, put no one, let me tell you the truth. And uh, we're Israelites, but I'll tell you the truth. The average person in Britain didn't care that Megan married Harry. No one cared, the bitch looks white, no one cared. This whole idea of this racism has all been uh, uh, the media Fabricate, yeah. fabricating it to cause this backward and forward and this this drama and that drama just draws people in but and it, it don't end so she comes over for the wedding and the media have to comment on everything she does right and then when the media do that then you get the it other side of it yeah. responding to it and it's a like, why do British people racist and not which they are racist but no one cared about Meghan man ain't no one losing sleep about the fact that Harry's going balls deep in, in in Meghan Markle, man. No one cared if the media didn't talk about it, but that's the whole point. They talk about it, and then you talk about it, and then everyone's into this drama. And that's the thing. And now you can't concentrate on the food situation or the tax yep. situation or the energy crisis. You know about it, but you can't concentrate on it. You can't fully understand it because you're constantly being distracted by one sex tape after another or one racist incident that they, they promote or one shooting incident with a protest and some madness that really ain't got nothing to do with anything that they're gonna constantly be, be pumping into your mind frame yeah go on man uh this is the book of isaiah 60 and, and 2 for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and the gross darkness the people right and that darkness mainly you israelites your our people you're you're the ones that's in the deepest of darkness they ain't got a clue you, your so-called Negro, Hispanic, and Native American is the ultimate um, uh, uh, victim of entertainment. The ultimate victims of entertainment so and, and social media. Look at World Star Hip Hop, man. But I'd say entertainment, social media, Sport. and sports. With sports, is nothing but entertainment. Jake loved the drama. They love the foolishness. That's all they, 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 their mind is given to on a daily basis mm. and sex. Them, them, them combination of things mixed together, Jake don't have a clue. The average Jake out here don't know up from down, left from right, right? Worse to the fact they don't know the scriptures so they can't measure the times and understand the times that they're living in. They're mm. gone. They're, they're totally out there. They have no idea. So when, when this thing really gets, goes over the hill, they're going to be confounded like how wait, wait what's going on here confusion i need to get a chip to eat like what's you know where did this happen what's the cbdc <laughs> but that's why the lord said you know the lord's gonna confound all these people out here man and the lord, the lord's gonna be laughing like because like you yeah you had it all here for you man yep jake is so close to the scriptures but they don't know nothing out of the scriptures so they're gonna be like what's going on how am i gonna do how, how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do that and Lord's gonna be like, what, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah, the prophets you know? was there breaking yeah. it down to you, explaining it on every level. But they don't want they don't want that. They want the drama. They love the drama, they love the TikTok, you know, they love the jokes. They love to sleep, they love to slumber. But really the Lord has put that spirit on them. Go on, finish yep. what you got there. Uh, uh, but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen upon thee the, the, And that thee that the Lord is going to arise upon That light is going to be on the elect See the elect are going to be different to the masses mm -hmm. Because one for one we don't get carried away We don't get carried away with the illusions with the with the. Because we'll come out and tell you Listen we'll speak on a thing But just know it's manipulated, it's fake it's not even a real thing, but we're speaking it for edification's sake. But who were the first ones to come out and tell you that the, the Queen's uh, um, funeral was one giant ritual? And, 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 and we told you that from, we're the first ones to come out and tell you that. Yeah, this thing's a ritual. They're, they're, they're doing witchcraft to promote their new world order. So don't be surprised if massive events happen in the world thereafter. And that's exactly what you're going to see. That's exactly what's happening. Exactly what's happening. Spooky, look at the stock market right now. Spooky. Monday, hey, listen, Monday, listen, we don't know. That could be Black Monday. That could be the, the, the financial 9 11. <laughs> yep. Listen, remember we, remember we said that. That could be the Monday, could be a financial 9 11. Not saying 100%, but we got to keep our eye open for these things because we're in spooky times. What happens when things get spooky? When you're, when you're, when you're spooked or you're in a state of spookiness, guess what? You're alert. So every time you hear 
you know, a, a branch break. Reactive. You got to see, is it a lion? Is it? That's the spirit you got to be in nowadays. You got to be looking at everything, man. But that's the way I say you should have been in the first place. Being diligent, you <laughs> know diligent, what I'm saying? Man. You know, the Lord says he's a watchman. They're constantly watching for these things, man. So, man you people could, don't watch for these things. We could wake up Monday, right? You could wake up Monday and by the time it gets to the time the American stock market opens up, because we're over here in the UK, the UK stock market could get slaughterhouse. And then by the time you come to like 10, 12, 11 o'clock and they open up the Dow futures or whatever it is, them man drop 30, 40 percent, man. And they got to bring in the plunge protection team and next thing you know they shut the market <laughs> they, 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 they collapse the whole financial system yeah. and and that could happen now to the average person they don't think that could never happen because they don't see what's going on and they don't know the prophecies mm. so you got to be mindful in these times man so when these things happen you know yep that's prophecy yeah, so we're playing this part so we're playing out uh, back in 2nd Ezra 9 verse 1 He answered me then and said measure thou the time diligently in itself And when thou seest part of the signs past which I have told you before Then shalt thou understand that it is the very same time Where the highest will begin to visit the world which he made Therefore when there shall be seen earthquakes and uproars of the people in bag the world Bag of earthquakes last week Bag of a whole bag of earthquakes all over the world And that's been the case with earthquakes mashing up the place yeah. Signs in the sun yeah, Fire and all that mm -hmm. This is the, um, it's the uproars of the people. We were just mentioning about the, the Iran thing. You see what happened, Iran and, you know? and it ain't just, listen, not even just Iran. Listen, I got, I got my sources and I wake up in the morning and it's just bare videos. You know, you get that, that um, because it's social media out here now. You know, you get man could send you like eight videos at the same time. And man would be like Haiti. And man would have like eight videos. And you see man in Haiti moving mad right now. <laughs> Over in Haiti, they're man are moving mad on the roads. Iran, they're moving mad on the roads. All over the world, and the thing is, if you turn on BBC News, Sky no, News, not you're not, they're not going to cover it all. You got to go to the alternative media where they're picking and mm. they're picking and choosing certain things from, uh, you know, because uh, they want you to focus on the Queen's funeral, they want you to focus yeah, on like this, they want you to focusing on that. Nah, man. You know, but other stuff's going on in the world, man. Right now, the, and the thing is, the stronger the dollar gets, yeah, the more these third world countries are going to collapse because they're dependent on the dollar system. Stability, and with the dollar being it, yeah. strong, that works against them and their economies. That's why if you watch the algorithms, that's why we do the algorithms so you can understand the wisdom of this world. So you understand how this, this, this financial system works, man. Because Esau knows how it works. So we got to know how it works, man, to know your enemy. And the plays that they make. And the dollar, the dollar right now, go look it up. We, we, it's called the DXY. A lot of you didn't even know that. It's called a DXY, type DXY chart, and you see that the dollar, now after they raised the last interest rate up 75 basis points, how many of you knew that? Did you know that they just, they, the Federal Reserve, what's his name, Powell came out on the, on the oh, what was it, um, the Thursday I believe it was, the Thursday or Wednesday? I lose track of the day sometimes because I work mad, but it came out, yeah, I, I know that it was, um, it was one o'clock this time over here. And he announced, yeah, we're raising it up 75 basis points. And then he came out and said, and we're probably going to raise it up another one, one, one and a half, 100 man. to one of a half, one, um, 150 basis point by the end of the year. Right. And what happened to the stock market? Everyone, that's a signal to the people that it's a recession going on. And then so everyone's fleeing into the dollar and it's causing the dollar to, to, to increase in value. But then that's destroying the economies of all right. these other countries around the world and what's that's going to lead to eventually when they provide conveniently russia's providing a system to get away from the dollar and the imf is coming in with a with a new system as well because they're all in on the, the whole new financial system what's that going to do to the dollar all of a sudden they're going to just drop the dollar like a bad habit because it's not working for them no more Crazy and then the dollar goes down and they're going to have all these new currencies ready to roll out and what's going to come along with them currencies the chip, the digital currencies, it's all happening right now. The Great Reset. We're in the, we're in the midst. They're not playing. What did Klaus Schwab say? Covid or not? It's an opportunity to to bring forth the, the the fourth industrial revolution, and it shall come at the break breakneck. You know, you got to talk like fucking villain. That breakneck speed. You know, fucking demon, man. They're not playing. 
Revelations to hold that real quick. Revelations 12 and 12, man. This devil is not fucking playing, man. He's moving with his plans and he's moving fast with it. What did they tell you when when Lizzie Lizzie popped it? Lizzie got laid to laid to, to rest. They said, yo, it's the end of an era. Yeah, that's that new that's that new that's era. that they said it's a new era now. They're meaning they're signaling they're trying to bring in something new. These devils ain't playing, man. But that's all right because they're right. It is gonna be a new era. <laughs> yep. Uh, this is a book of liberation. This is a book of liberation. Uh, twelve and twelve. Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Where to the inhabitants of the earth mm. and of the of the sea, for the devil is come down unto you, having great love. Because it, he knows that he has but a short time. These devils ain't playing, man. They got, they're ready to bring in, and they're ready to spill blood to bring their thing in. In fact, that's requirement. Mm -hmm. Spilling blood is a requirement. Um, David Spangler said that. They should, they, we shall not have a new world order, but by blood. You know, um, loosely um, quoting what he said. They, they're consigned to the fact that they have to make a blood sacrifice to try and bring in their new world. And guess who the blood sacrifice is going to be? The, 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 the the people, <laughs> yeah, like Bane. <laughs> the the, yeah, people, the majority of these people out here, they don't they don't care about them. They're ready to have these people starve to death and and get killed by one another, fighting for food and all them thing there. Well, it all goes in hand in hand with the you know William Gates, you know, because William is another term for um, you know. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right, you know, he's he's the population program, man, because mm, mm. they they don't want a use of ears. I say he still sees them, yeah, and they right? are, <laughs> you know. So their blood will be spilled. For that cause, man. Oh, that's that's the only useful thing they can do. Hey, wait, the Bane said that. He said blood will be shed. <laughs> yeah, because that's that's the most used that he saw sees these people for. Even the classes the sacrifice. Bringing in the Tories into power in 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 Britain, what are they trying to foment now? Classism, because they're bringing out uh, they, with the Tories. They got purposely got the Tories in power, and then they got the Tories passing tax breaks for the rich. Yeah, and they're yeah, telling, which is because they the they want that division. They want that division between the classes. They want the racial division too. That's why you see them coming out with certain things, and they're highlighting it. Oh, there's a racist element to this and that because they want people. At, they want that odds, yeah. that, that 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 um confusion. They want that man. That's order uh, order and chaos. They want the chaos, man. They, they, this is all, but. It's, it's part of their plan, but then again, it's all part of the Lord's plan. Go on, up. Yeah. That you on that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm about to say, because Omi, it's, it's a plan that the Esau is doing that's Omi going to backfire. You know? And that's why the Lord's got it playing out for them. Uh, back in 2nd Genesis 9, it says, um, verse 4, it says, Then shalt thou well understand that the Most High spake of those things from the days that were before thee, even from the beginning. For as like as all that is made in the world have a beginning and an end, and the end is manifest. Right, this kingdom has an end, it's, and the end of it. See, they're 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 trying to they're trying to organize their end. They're trying to organize it and control it, yeah, length, to where they can <laughs> they can reform and like they, they call it the phoenix. They can they can raise themselves up out of the ashes of the end and 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 go forth. That's what they're trying to do. But there is an end to this. You can tell it's coming to the end because of how degenerate and wicked and dumb down the people are and how much even they're coming out and the, 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 they're coming out and admitting certain things and the people is, are, are so dumbed asleep. down and asleep here yeah? it's like these men are admitting now yeah the the you know what yeah it's killing people yeah man not even, if these if no one's even they're not even outraged if even like 30 percent of the people was awake in their mind their man would have done burnt down the place and violated the fact that these men were trying to give it to your children these men were trying to push this thing on your children and did give it to your children, knowing that the thing is going to kill them. And that's admitted now. And man's just, hey, but you know what, yeah, there's a fat booty thing twerking on TikTok. So, you know, that's, that's got to take precedence, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Or someone needs to be cancelled somewhere for doing something. <laughs> yeah. For do, saying something out of line, isn't it? It's a joke. It's madness, man. Go on. It's, uh... Verse seven says, "Then, sorry, verse six. Even so, the times also the highest have plain, <coughs> plain beginnings in wonder and powerful works, and it endings in effects and signs. Right? And it's gonna get more spooky. You're gonna see more things, more demonic possession, and that's already happening. People just doing madness. There's a video of a day. 
some spooky video where they're showing like people like the man one guy was just there working and then you see him like turn and he starts going like this yeah and all like that yeah and it's like he's trying to swat something and then you just see him keel over and drop dead blood <laughs> and there was about four or five videos like that where cctv's just caught people on camera like they've seen something and then and whatever they've seen they just drop dead after man now you might think oh it's fake here yeah? but you're gonna have them apparitions man you're gonna have spooky things happening you know cause, cause yeah, everything's fake till it's not <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey man you know, you're gonna have more and more spooky things happening cause, like cause that because the man. things is the thing the thing is man these things do exist <laughs> they do exist you might not want to believe that but they do exist Death angels. <laughs> you know what i'm saying now you might not understand that you might not want to understand that but they do exist they're in the scriptures and like we went into last last week into magics and stuff like that they do all exist and it's been recorded throughout time hey, maybe some of that is the reason for this sudden death thing that's going around <laughs> yeah man. yeah the spirits is just clocking people out man yeah so these things do exist and you people will experience it things you can't explain you're gonna see shit that you never think you've ever seen in your entire life <laughs> you know because the most is bringing you know the pain to this place man he's gonna bring uh, all that upon you man that's terrors hey we told you already man this winter you, go, you gotta be on your toes this winter because it's looking spooky man everyone got their their um energy bill <laughs> you got your your your, your, your seen, little yeah, i got my, my my thing telling me about how much my energy bills are gonna go up hell i don't know how i'm gonna pay my energy bills man it's spooky for me right now <laughs> but it's all right let it get spooky it is what it is we're here for the spookiness <laughs> we're about the spooky. We, we want all the spookiness <laughs> we want all that spooky stuff man because we've got to go through the spooky to get out the other side that's right <laughs> oh one, one second yeah, it's hella spooky. Yeah, go on now. Sure like... All right, this is a book of uh, yeah. Ecclesiasticus 39 and 28. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on so strong. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and they appear the last of him that made them. Fire and hell and famine, death, all these were created for vengeance. As yeah, and that's what's going to come down. And then the Lord going to look, use a lot of these people to go mad on each other, man. And they're going to start moving, moving ruthless on other people and on their children. Because yeah. the Lord's going to bring real pressure, like how it tells you in 2nd Exodus 15, man. These people ain't seen nothing yet. Yeah, it's, 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 <laughs> you say friends shall fight each other like enemies, man. Like enemies, man. Mm, it's going to be that bad. Slaughtering, slaughtering whole families, man. Things that you think, no, that could never happen. It'll start, and that's already starting to happen. Little, you know, you know, children getting put to death, shot, and all these things are happening. Yep. It's gonna get gruesome. They put, a lot of people gonna get that, and, and 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 there's gonna be people out here that the Lord's gonna put the spirit on them to just go around killing women and all that. Hey, so the, the hearts of me show wax cold. Cold, bro. And we're gonna see that, man. It's gonna be icy. <laughs> Just like they show you in them post-apocalyptic thing, like people can't trust nobody, man. They um, what like the movie um, and that's what a lot of them zombie things are portraying. Like there's a one on thing called Black Summer. Yeah, that's, that's mad. That shows you that the zombie, them zombies, just represent random people. That's crazy. But in in that movie, they show you even the other survivors. That was almost like your. You can't trust them because they might be trying to kill you to get your gun or to get yeah. the food that you got or to get your clothes and they will pop it and that's what they're trying to show you man all them kind of things is going to be happening man it's going to get spooky out here yeah situations where there was one where the woman was in the car with the dude right no 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 the woman was in the car driving along and then another woman come up to the to the, to the car he's like oh you know, I'm pregnant, help me, right? And then, great. and then, um, yeah, she, she was basic, just like they show you the thing. And they go, oh, I think there was a guy in the car going, listen, man, nah, don't, don't stop, stop her, yeah, let's yeah, just yeah. go, let's just go. And she was like, no, but she's on her own. And by the, t by the time she knew what happened, next man's come up to the window with a gun, get out of the car. Like, it's our car now. And they got in the car and drove off. With yeah, it, it's man. like the lady in the red dress in the matrix, distract you, was distracted. Even just talking about it was now a distraction, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Man. You're making that decision, that cool. People can't be trusted, they're demons. Nah, nah, nah. Cause all that, all that shit be going on, man. <laughs> just run her over. Let's go. I'm so hungry, man. <laughs> but <laughs> GTA, <isn't> it? Yeah, <laughs> GTA, bro. Mm. All right. Uh, Matthew 24 verse 6. And you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not be troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, it's not something that 
we're, we're fearful of, man. It's something that needs to happen. We want, we want to happen. Because it has to happen, man. Because we, we can't get through to the other side of things, man. But we want to get to the kingdom ASAP. But you can see that it's getting, listen, it's getting real close. It's, 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 it's humming up nicely. It's revving nice. So, like I said, we ain't too many big events away from this thing getting wrapped up. And it can get wrapped up quick. It can get wrapped up real quick. We could be in the kingdom next year. That's how serious, that's how spooky the times are. By the Passover next year, we could easily be in the kingdom. Don't think that can't be. You think is you think it, it you think in a week, yeah, this whole society could be turned upside down. It's all they already been prepping it. In a week, stock markets crashed, everything's falling apart, there ain't no liquidity in the system, and this ain't moving here, this ain't moving here, we need to come in with emergencies, this city's on fire, boom, boom, boom. You think that can't you think that takes like 20 years to happen in slow motion? Nah, boom. Just like that, two, three weeks time, you're in you're in a nightmare. House of cards, man. Whoosh. We'll come down two weeks time you could be in a nightmare you on your, your where you live can be unrecognizable in a in a week week and a half mm. don't take long don't take long at all quick things and we know we, we know the whole ordeal this ain't gonna take long anyway most are gonna end this place quickly man savage you know i beheld satan for his lightning mm. it ain't gonna take a long time he's always on his descent you know so the lord's looking to wrap this up now man Okay, he's, he's shortening the, the time for the elect's sake, you know? Yeah, we're definitely on edge growing up. Uh, you want to pick up Daniel? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bring it out. Uh, this is the book of Daniel, uh, 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for, his, for the children of thy people. Right, because the only people that are going to be defended in this time is the people of the Lord which are the Israelites, but specifically the elect. Yeah, yeah. Everyone else is going to be fair game to, to, to suffer greatly in this time. But the Lord specifically is only going to put a hedge over his elect. The only the elect are going to be protected from the, and that's a very small amount of people. So the rest of, of his people and these other nations, you got nothing but pure hell to look forward to. And it is going to be pure hell. Merciless hell. Mm -hmm. This is uh, Wisdom of Solomon chapter 3 verse, verse 8 so they, sh they shall judge the nations and have dominion over the people And their Lord shall reign forever right? Our Lord Yahweh Shai, right? And they that put their trust in him shall understand the truth And such as be faithful in love shall abide with him For grace and mercy is to his saints And he have care for his elect He only have care for his elect man So everyone else is going to be fair game man And it's going to be worse than that because really if you're if you're not of the elect and you're an Israelite, you have the sentence of death upon you, so you're definitely gonna get got. Them death angels, they got they got they got your name, and they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna find you out and they're gonna deal with you in in a in a in a vicious manner. Man's on the terminal list now. The terminal <laughs> list, yeah. Now these other nations, they are, there's only two options for them: death slavery. or slavery. But whatever path they take is going to be terrible because they're going to witness the death of their family, their, their loved ones. It's going to be hell for everyone. Ain't no one going through this thing sweet. Except really the elect. The elect are, are not going to have to suffer the, the, uh, the, the kind of things that the, the, these people are really going to suffer. Because like I said, they're going to have a hedge. They're not going to start. The elect ain't going to starve to death. Mm -hmm. The Lord's going to feed the elect because he said that. Now, some of the elect might die for the namesake of the Lord, but they're going to be resurrected yep. on, on, on to glory. Well, this is, um, but they ain't going to get fucking like you're walking down the street and a pack of pit bulls just roll up, up and just tear up your flesh, man. That's not going to happen to the elect. That happened to these people. The, those terrible, the teeth of wild beasts and all those terrible and the diseases melting your eyeballs out or missiles and that, that, that those are reserved for the wicked rain, man rain <laughs> yeah man there's already all kind of madness <laughs> taking these people out man yeah this verse 9 says that they that put their trust in him shall understand sorry, verse 10 but the ungodly shall be punished according to their own imaginations which have neglected the righteous and forsaken the lord that's right because the, the beginning with our people they have given themselves up onto the world they trust in the world they trust in money Right, they're, they're, they're proud And all you need to do is go on social media And you can see what people trust in 
that these niggas they trust in money you know they these bitches they trust a lot of it they trust in their the sexual appeal you know and oh, i got niggas in my dms they trust mm. in the nigga guess what man when all hell breaks loose all them niggas in your dms they half of the, most of them are going to be dead or they're going to be trying to find food they're not going to be trying to chase you to eat your ass out or whatever you think you're running with these women are fucking proud out here but all that pride the lord is going to get everyone everyone's going to get got all of you whatever it is you trust in the it's going to fail you in that day only the ones who trust in the name of Yahweh by Shami are gonna be are gonna be um uh, 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 held up. Yep. Everyone else that, that trust in the, the the things of this world, all the things they trust in are gonna fail. Whether it's your career or whatever you think that is the, what you're holding on to that you really think is what what's what your source is. Mm. It's good to say, man. Because of their because of their pride, the city shall be shall be troubled. You know, because everyone's in this proud state of mind, man. I feel like nothing ever gone bad gonna happen to them like like this. Oh, know? they're hella proud, and they don't fear the Lord. Mm -hmm. That's why the Lord don't come into their mind when it comes to anything. They, they don't respect the judgments of the Lord. They don't respect what the Lord don't like, or what the Lord detests, and and that starts with the the LGBT thing. The majority of our people, they're down with it. They're down with that that nastiness man they laugh at it they wink at it they think it's a joke they think it's a joke thing you think it's a joke thing but you see what everyone thinks life is a joke until your guts are hanging out until shit get real then it's not funny no more well that, that's it man you know this, this place has got comfortable it's got <laughs> fat right they ain't living in syria <laughs> yeah when the terror when the terrors come you know? when the terrors come that's when life, life gets serious yeah, it's isn't a serious it? thing and it's always like that I don't know, man, you realize life is real. Because you're not concentrating on survival right now. You know, these men are trying to survive, trying to live another day. <laughs> Literally, they don't know what's going to come tomorrow. Shit get real, all of a sudden, that's when you realize this, it wasn't a joke, man. Because you will believe you won't wake up tomorrow, you know? And tomorrow's going to be a nice day. You know, you're going to get your cost of coffee. You know what I mean? No, no, what's the worst that can happen? <laughs> yeah, man? yeah. You're find you know? out. But they ain't going to be like that no more, man. You're, you're going to be. Hey, well, like I say, the curse is going to come upon our enemies, man. You're going to be worrying day to day whether your life is, is in the balance or not. Your life for your children. Mm. A lot of you are going to see your children dead, man. Yep. And that's a terrible thing. Yeah, you're going to bewail your children. They man. might be dead. You might, they might get clapped, clapped by a 50 caliber weapon and get split in half, man. <laughs> Serious. That's terrible. It's annoyed. <laughs> Head bust way, blood. Yep. Gruesome. <laughs> Go on. Verse 11 says, Whoso despises wisdom and nurture, he is miserable, and their hope is vain. Their labors or their works, right? The, the pride that they've got from their works, right? Yeah, all that hustling they be doing, all oh, yeah. hustling. Their hope is vain, their labors unfruitful, and their works unprofitable. That's right. Everything that these people are doing that they're glorifying, oh, I'm an alpha male, or oh, I'm this, that, and the other, like the top G. <laughs> that matter, that don't mean nothing, man, <laughs> if you won't have the Lord, and that's really what it comes down to. If you don't have Yahweh Shai, the scripture says, because basically all Israel is in that state like that you've been bitten by a serpent. But you don't know. That serpent sting, that poison is sin. It's working, yeah. It's working right now. And the thing about sin is you don't know because it's, it's not tangible. So you're walking around with a death warrant. You're walking, literally walking around with a death warrant. You're dying. You, you, are, you, you got an expiry date, but you don't know. You can't see it. So you're just doing more and more sin and you're just poisoned up. Now the scripture tells you that there was a time where the people murmured against the Lord and the Lord sent them fiery serpents and they bit the people and they were dropping dead from that, that poison, right? But then what happened? The Lord said, yo, Moses, take, grab this, um, make this serpent, hold the serpent up and whoever looketh upon that serpent, they were healed and they didn't die. Well, the scripture tells you in, in John the third chapter that as Moses held up that ser serpent, so shall the son of man be lifted up. So the men of the Lord are already lifting up Yahweh Shai. Mm -hmm. Like I'm saying, you look upon him. Meaning what? Repent and turn to him and you ain't going to die in your sins. But our people don't want to look. They don't, they don't care. They think it's corny. I ain't trying to fuck with that. You know? They trust in idols. They trust in these idols, man. They trust. They want to trust in Islam and Christianity. Even really, most people just the real God of these people is pussy money weed. That's the real God of these people. Yeah. The real thing these people worship they worship Mammon, the flesh it? The, yeah pussy yeah. money weed money is the ultimate god to these people that's what these people worship and by default then you worship who printed the money which is esau edom because their face is all over that shit. Mm. 
and they control that. They witchcraft and shit. You saw polite bending over and, and worshiping that money. They think money guns can save their life. The Bible tells you riches profit not in the day of evil, man. So the richest person you know, the richest nigga you know, it ain't gonna make no difference in that day. Mm -hmm. The Lord come to reap their soul. Yeah, can't barter, <laughs> can't barter for it. <laughs> you know, Lord ain't gonna sit no money. Hey, but look at these fucking rappers. These rappers should be an example. They get, they make all that money. What happened? They get their head pushed. They get their wig pushed all the way back. Mm. Even though they're making all that money, bang. What's his name? Apparently got clapped up. He had a, a bunch of money on him. Uh, X, was it X, X Asian? I don't know what the fuck these niggas' name is, man. One of them fucking little weird, weird. weird old rappers New was walking names. around with a duffel bag, and niggas came up, blow, took his damn head off. All that money didn't help. The money didn't jump out the bag and become like, like Mr. Doctor Strange's fucking cloak and start, start clapping, dodging the bullets, man. And he got took out, man. And now the record label is, they started doing the, the doing the Harlem Shake because they know they were gonna make all that money off his death. Yeah. <laughs> Greatest hits. <laughs> when they got the phone call, they were like, "What? Oh shit!" Well, they probably arranged it, but even if they didn't, they'd be like, "Oh, he's dead," and they just thinking, "Ding, ding, 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 ding." Yeah. Yo, all these, all these unreleased. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Get that <laughs> shit out of social shit. media yeah, right yeah. now, man. He about to party tonight. <laughs> go ahead. Uh, this is book of Isaiah, chapter one and one. Word to them that go down to Egypt for help, and stay on horses and trust in chariots, because there are many. And in horsemen, because they are very strong. Right, these niggas are looking for a politician to to rise up and help them in these in these days, man. Oh Trump, that's why. Oh Trump, Trump bad, and they were looking for Biden to come in and save them. Can you imagine that? They wanted Biden to come in and save them. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking niggas, man. <laughs> yeah, well, he, he, Biden said, man, if you don't vote for me, not black in it. So you know, they had to vote. <laughs> Had to. Uh, but they look not unto the Holy One of Israel, neither seek the Lord. Yet he also is wise, and he will bring evil, and will not call back his words, but will arise against the, the house of, of the evildoers, and against the help of them that work iniquity. That's right. That's why you got Jer what Jeremiah, the 30th chapter, and, and the 7th verse, it speaks about the time of Jacob's trouble, man. And Jacob about to be in some real trouble globally, worldwide. And the Lord is going to make it so. And they ain't gonna, uh, the, the majority of our people, you ain't making it out of it. Because you ain't right, man. Jacob wicked. Jacob wicked. And they, they've gone, they've surpassed the, de the deeds of the wicked, man. And all these, all these wicked niggas have is a bunch of fucking excuses, man. For why they're so wicked. But they don't really want to change. They don't really want to, do, they don't want to repent. Because the offer for repentance is there. It's not hidden. They don't want to repent. They love the lives they live. That's why the scripture says, the scripture says, um, men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. Yeah, but this is why they glorify it. They glorify it. They glorify it. it. Man, they say, oh, it's because I have to. No, you want to glorify, glorify something. I love you the game. You, you, you know, you had to do because you should not understand that it's wicked what you're doing, right? You wouldn't glorify it. But you love that lifestyle. You love people looking at you like, oh, I'm the hardest and, and all this business. Love I'm, the, the world, I'm the maddest man. man. They're addicted to the toxicity. <laughs> yeah. They're addicted to death. They love death. And that's exactly what they're going to get. Yep. He that, the scriptures say, he that hateth me loveth death, man. That's why they, we should be the biggest thing going. This truth should have been, it's, it's the truth. It's the truth. It's life. But it was, it's not going to be for the masses. The masses ain't, don't want to accept it because yeah. they're crazy. You know, it's the truth, man, but it's not, uh, you know, look at if for these men out there, you know. That's what, that's what it is for these guys. Yeah, they're insane. You know? But then some wicked nigga come up with the, some fantastical madness and they jump onto it. Any wickedness, Jay could take it and run with it and he, he, he. And it's so funny. Every, everything that's wicked, Jake think is funny and entertaining, man. Jake don't stand for nothing. So don't ever think Jake stand for anything. Jake don't stand for nothing. Jake are a, a, a bunch of hypocrites, man. They only stand for something when someone else tells them, some wicked person tells them to go stand. Then they go march. They, they don't really care. Mm. Fuck Jake, man. I'll tell you that straight, man. Who's that? Go on up. It's Jeremiah 4 and 22. For my people is foolish. They have not known me. They are sottish children and they have none understanding. They are wise to do evil, but to do good they have no knowledge. They are wise to do evil. That's what we know about our people, man. That's what they know how to do. 
And we've seen it, man, because the, 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 the men of the Lord have been out here, man. And these people ain't turning. They don't really want to hear this. They scoff and scorn. But any wickedness that comes out, they're ready to jump down, jump on it, and incorporate it. Look how wicked these niggas have been. In the last 20 years, look at all the wickedness that these niggas have not only have incorporated into their culture. Here it is, the men of the Lord are here saying, yo, don't eat pork, don't do this, don't do that, like... And, but Jake don't want to take that on board. Mm -hmm. But any madness that comes out that Esau pushes out there, Jake will incorporate it and now that's the end thing. Jake will rather eat by eat than stop eating pork. That's how mad it is. Jake will rather do some madness. Jake will rather cover his body in tattoos and look like a complete fool rather than do what's right. They, any wicked trend, Jake are going to jump on it. Tell me I'm lying. Look at so-called black culture, Hispanic culture, Native American culture just over the last 20 years. If you went back 20 years ago, there's things that you just wouldn't have... It was like, nah, we yeah, don't do that. Yeah, nah, yeah. Jake just... Any madness, Jake are picking it up. There was a time where the whole Batman thing was like a no-no. Now, man are cool. Everyone's cool with it. New age. No one ain't really caring. They're not upset by it. They don't. They're not. They're not. They're not, they're not busting <laughs> off. They're not busting off straps on them batty boys and that. They're not doing none of that. Clowns. It's acceptable. So just one quick one. Jeremiah five and um, twenty eight. So they are wax and fat. They shine. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Go on. <laughs> they overpass the deeds of the wicked. Oh, they, uh, yeah. Jake are wicked, man. Yeah. Of they, they extort each every type of wickedness you could think of that's what jake's doing out here man wicked demonic man killing each other like wholesale murdering each other stealing from each other committing all kind of adultery insects child abuse let's talk about that let's talk about all the man them that's fucking their daughters man let's talk about that are we going to talk about that no they, they, nobody wants to talk about that a lot of these fucking like for instance you see a lot of these fucking super hoes you see like these porn star black bitches you know most of them were touched as children right a lot of them got even touched by their daddy or by their stepdad or by their uncle or by their brother and vice versa you got a lot of these niggas out here that's running wild and acting crazy a lot of them got touched as children a lot of them got molested the, the child molestation and i'm talking about from your like four five six seven years old is a massive problem among jake in the islands they call it family ramen and you know how I know? Because I know, I personally know people that that's happened to. This brother knows people that's happened to. And that's just the ones that come out and, yeah, yeah, you know, my dad touched me or my, my auntie did this to me. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you facts. I've got family members, oh, they went to stay with this auntie. Girls went to live with this, not even auntie. I mean, go live with this person that's supposed to be a friend of the family. And next thing you know, man's hearing that they got touched up by this woman. Cause don't think it's just men that do it too yeah and then so what happens those people that are sexually abused they got demons on them so no wonder they're they're fucking in a porn video getting Best banged thing. by 50 men and they're, ah, they're all over the place because a lot of the, the, this wickedness is happening the children are unprotected but nobody wants they think it's just edomites that do that no 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 it ain't just edomites a lot of that's happening among jake all this wickedness that was happening in egypt jake is doing incest Jake is doing that. Yeah. Jake's a fucking wicked man. The adultery is off the scale. The yeah. whoredom is off the scale. And you tell me this ain't the end, man? The cousin thing. Yeah. Hmm? The cousin thing, I mean, the. Well, I mean. Cousin. The, yeah, the cousin. I mean, I mean. I mean, the intercourse, I mean. Yeah, sisters, bro, like bro, sisters. It's mad out here. Even the fathers, they, they give pregnant to their daughters. Man. Bro, I'm telling you. Yeah, ain't just fruit. So. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. That's that happens with, among Jake, man. A lot more than what people want to admit that it happens, man. You don't want to act like, but this is true. There's a massive problem with with child sexual abuse, even among Jake, from the islands to America to Britain. It, it happens, it happens a lot. A lot of men been touched. A lot of men have been touched by older men, older boys, bending them over and doing the thing. That's why a lot of these batty boy youths you see, they've been touched as children too. Well, I was gonna use that, the black unconscious movement for, you know, that thing. 
know, with uh, oh, Malachi oh, York oh. and all. Uh, Malachi Bambata. York, Africa Bamba. Yeah, all of them, man. You know? Just breeding de putting demons out there, man. Bro, I'm telling you, it's more than what people know. So when you see the fruits of it, sometimes these crazy individuals you see that's on heroin, some of these people you see, a lot of these people, because the thing about heroin, heroin is a, is a specific type of drug. Most people that end up on heroin, that's because they ha they've had something very traumatic happen to them. Because heroin is like, it numbs you. Like if, you, if you're tortured by a particular thing, that's the drug of choice. Crack is different. Crack and all that crack, cocaine, weed, that's different. Usually if someone goes on to heroin, eight out of ten times that person's been through some kind of super like child abuse or something like that and that's why they they, they can't live with themselves so they got to be on this thing like, bro, it's true this that's and then so when you see so many people on it then you know there's a lot of wickedness happening behind all that man telling you the truth they know it go speak to them go talk to the random crazy bear you see outside the supermarket and he'll tell you his life story and you'll probably hear yeah my dad fucked me when i was Oh, my brother. <laughs> my cousin made me suck his dick when I was fucking seven. I've, I've worked among the, the foster thing as well. There's a lot of kids in foster care, that's their story. I'm telling you, it's true. But we're supposed to be out here happy and act, pretend like this world's all good and these people, a lot of these people are fucking demons. And the Lord knows all the wickedness they be doing and they ain't gonna repent. So the Lord's gonna destroy them, man. Yep. And you'll be looking like, rah, why did that happen to that person? Because a fucking demon, man. That's it. I'm telling you, man. When these deeds come out into the light, man, people be, oh shit. <laughs> Go on up. So I'm gonna jump onto verse 26 here, right? Jeremiah 20, uh, sorry, Jeremiah. 5 and verse 26 it says for among my people are found wicked men they lay wait as they set of snares they set a trap they catch men as a cage is full of birds so are their houses full of deceit therefore they have become great and waxen rich they are waxen fat they shine yea they overpass the deeds of the wicked yeah even among our people they got these guys they work for Esau and they just prey upon their own people man they pray the gangsters and they run the they they run the trafficking and they run the drugs and they do all this stuff and destroy mm -hmm. their own people, man. And they've been playing that game and living good off it too. But the Lord's gonna bring all that to an end. See, they've been playing the game and in Esau's world, they because they're working with Esau, they get certain things. But the Lord's gonna cut all that off. The covenant with death is gonna be cut off, man. All these men are gonna suffer, man. Yep. It says they judge not the cause, the cause of the fatherless, yet they prosper. And the right of the needy, do they not judge? Right, you got certain families, like even on the islands, a lot of these wicked, demonic ass families that got all the money on the islands, man, because they're working with Esau, a bunch of devils. And none of them are batty, man. None of them have got, have got utes. And it always comes out. Once in a while, it will come out. Oh, they, they, they got a ute, that's their boyfriend. And they're buying the ute, they're buying the ute, look. The man are wondering, yo, where are you? They get the Louis Vuitton from and the Gucci, not knowing it's my man that's buying. Is he's in a relationship with the youth, man? You think it's a girl? No, man's in the relationship with a with a boy, and and then the the, the exchanges, he buying the boy things gifts. So that's how he's getting the Louis Vuitton, and they 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 predator in like that. Now you think that's Esau? No, I'm talking about Jake, and it comes out, man. I remember one time there was one where. The guy got caught in the phone recording talking to the boy. That's known. Man them from the islands know what I'm talking about. There's enough man on the islands bullering up the, the young boy them man. Politicians and businessmen and all that kind of stuff man. Think I'm telling lies man. Nah it's not. The demons man. Verse 29. Shall I not visit for these things? Mm. Save the Lord. Shall not my soul be avenged on such a nation as this? A wonderful and horrible thing is committed in the land. As the prophets prophesy falsely and the priests bear rule by their means and my people love to have it so. A lot of them priests are involved in them activities too. Well, they said, you know, we got a bunch of enablers in our nation, man. They're supposed to be men of the you know? Lord or the church and they're getting caught up in uh, trafficking and, 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 and adultery and all of that. 
Well, I think the people turn a blind eye to these things that are going on. Oh, they, Jake, they know. Listen, they, they, enable, they enable the shit that goes that's on. That's well man. known, Jake. You listen, know? a lot of times, a lot of times after a while, people know what certain people are getting up to. But if you got a certain position among Jake, people would turn a blind eye. People would turn a blind eye to things, man. But the Lord ain't turning a blind eye, man. The Lord sees and He knows all this wickedness that's happening among Jake, man. And He gonna put an end to it, man. It's disgusting. All these people that sneaky, what they call it, the sneaky leak, and they're committing all this adultery, and they think because they didn't get caught or nothing ain't that, that it's all good. Now, if you don't repent, the Lord's gonna have to call all that into remembrance, man. Because it's disgusting. You got a man thinking that raising children that, and he don't even know the children ain't his, and you think you got away with it. Mm. Hey, you, you, you ain't getting away with nothing, man. The Lord knows everything. He's the judge. You fearing you fearing men. Huh. How's that? People are wicked, yo. Is that, is that? Oh. No, I'm done. I'm done with that. Uh, go back to the book of Daniel. Uh, 12 and 1. And at that time shall Michael stand up, the great prince, which standeth for the children of thy people, and there shall be a time of trouble such as never was since since there was a, a nation even to that same time and that's serious man to because be there's been some spooky <laughs> the earth has been through spooky times terrible times terrible spooky times and the times has come and the spookiness is going to be off the charts the death level the 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 the, the, the terribleness that's going to come across the earth there's never was a time like this you know how mad that is to think about when you look into the history of the world and you're saying, oh, whoa, this is going to be the top of top of all the, all the spookiness. Then you, you listen, man, you don't want to be on the wrong side of that. And, and that's <laughs> part of the reason why there's so many people on the earth right now. You know, because the numbers have already grown. That means mass death <laughs> is about to come down, man. Because the yep. most has got them all here for this moment. You know, they ain't going to be a death toll like there's ever been. It's going to be mad, bro. <laughs> you know? So, yeah. Children, old, young. Uh, and that time thy people shall be delivered every one that shall be found written in the book only the elect who are predestined to that to that uh, um salvation man through what through the through through money you know through being an alpha male and all this crap <laughs> no man but through having faith in your Shai, predestined through through faith and the belief of the truth Uh, you hear? Yeah. yeah. Second Peter chapter two. Uh, start for verse four. Right. It says, "For if God spared not the angels that sinned, but cast them down to hell, and delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment, and spared not the old world, but saved Noah, the eighth person, a preacher of righteousness, bringing the in the flood upon the world of the ungodly." We all know that's what the Lord did a time before, right? Terrible. The Lord brought a flood upon the whole earth and destroyed pretty much everybody and everything except for those that were on the ark. Terrible. Man, woman and child. That was a mass genocide right there. Terrible. You know, for, for people that believe the Lord loves everybody. <laughs> Evidently not. He loved Noah though, you know, and gave mercy to Noah and his family. And we're, we're, we're hoping for that same mercy in the time to come. Where the Lord is de de dealing death and destruction to everybody, the Lord is going to keep us safe, you know. Spiritual ark. Yep. He says, uh, and turn the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, mm. condemn them with an overthrow, making them an example. It says example, but it means it's not example, right? Unto those that after should live ungodly. Right, this and this LG B to the you know what thing is a biggest sign that we're at the end of this thing because this thing is out of control now. This thing is out of control. It gone too far. They went too far with it. They 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 they're brawling with it, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but they say, yo, man, are brawling with it. They're out and they're out and about with this thing. They're fully out and about with this thing, and the younger generation is the worst with it. So you don't know this. The Lord is gonna do something major right here, because men are taking a piss. You know what it says, Galatians six and seven. God is not mock. Them men are making a mockery. Them men are making a mockery out here.
especially among our people, the amount of B mans there are out here and 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 and, and these 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 studs and all that running around this place man and they brawling with it man they got no fear man they Jeez. out out in the face bro. yep and now you got the trans thing these people are, are demons man mutilating themselves pumping up batty and prosthetic this and prosthetic that man what kind of dem demonic entities are these people man we're gonna wipe that out man walking around here with these stupid Fucking two inch long eyelashes, man. Look on destroy all of that, man. Foolishness. Have a quick preset on what you're saying, right? It's Isaiah 3 verse 9. It said, The shoe of the countenance doth witness against them, and they declare their sin as Sodom. They hide it not in the, in the closet no more. Yes, yeah, it's, it's open, man. And it's, and, it's, and, about. and it's promoted. You're encouraged in this world to, to come out and be this flamer. You know what I'm saying? Flame on. Right? Esau will coach you how to be in, yeah. this, in this world, you know what I mean? And give you everything you need. To, to grow up and be a, a, a bright fucking flavor in this world, man. You know? Not knowing that the end, the end of those ways is death. Terrible deaths too. You know? Terrible deaths. Mm. That's what's coming, man. Man are gonna die in, in fear, man. This is woe unto their soul. For they have rewarded evil unto themselves. This is coming, man. You know? And so, you, you know, people don't understand because they don't really believe. They don't really believe in the judgment of the Heavenly Father, man. Because it's clear in, 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 in the scriptures, man, that the Lord is against these, these, these abnormal things. Alright? And the Lord punishes people for these you know, abnormal man, things. I'm glad you said that. They don't, and that's what separates the believers from these wicked ass people out here. The fear. Now, when you heard the prophet saying, oh, you're going to be destroyed. This, this is going to happen. Thus saith the Lord. That's supposed to invoke terrible fear within you. Like, oh, what can I do to avoid? You know? That, yeah, yeah. But that don't invoke no fear in these people because they don't hold no weight to them. The, the scriptures don't hold no weight. The Lord's promise of destruction don't know no weight. They they don't fear the Lord. They fear Esau. They fear the gunman, the local gunman on the street. They don't fear the Lord. They don't because they, they don't have no respect, no respect to his word, man. Yep. To them, we're just talking air and air, whatever. Well, man have been saying that from how long? So nothing. Bro, this is the time when it's gonna <laughs> listen. <laughs> these words are gonna be justified. 100%. These then people are really gonna understand what high holy hell is on earth with the way the lord's gonna put it on the earth the way the lord's gonna stick it on the earth man are gonna man are gonna listen man are gonna be like nah man we should have just we should have just chilled we should have just obeyed it would have yeah, been better it weren't weakness. worth what this what's happening right now because that's what the question is gonna be is it's it gonna it. be worth it nah <laughs> it ain't gonna be worth it and ain't nobody gonna get satisfaction because the lord's about to bring it terrible you know whooping like nobody has seen um, Second Peter chapter 3 verse 3 says knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust Man's are going a... on TikTok disrespecting the Bible or where was God when this happened and a lot of these people don't really believe <laughs> no, no. in it God was why that happened <laughs> yeah. This is we don't understand, this is it's why want, it happened You want more? <laughs> Come on man, you sane? You know, you crazy? Disrespectful you know? little bastards and there's more and more of them just chatting shit man they being disrespectful showing no fear That's what I mean, one of you do like the this ninja, I mean, Jericho, I mean, I say, uh, he was saying like, he, all this, I mean, the Bible is this man-man, man-man book, like he, he himself, he can do it, like he, you give, you give, if you give him like 16 years, he can come with the Bible. <laughs> nah, <and something. laughs> mockery, mockery, <laughs> so saying, mockery. Years. Now what you think the right. Lord going to do to an individual like that? He going to have to learn because you're disrespecting you're disrespecting dignitaries, man. The highest dig. How can you even dare to say that you 16, give me 16 years, bro, I can write the Bible? Man. You know how long this Bible was written over? 16 years, it wouldn't even cut it anyway, man. You need something that's consistent that over nigga, hundreds of years, that thousands nigga, of years, that man. Nigga shit, man. That, that nigga chat shit. It's fucking dickhead. That nigga can't write, <laughs> man. What the fuck's he talking about? Give me 16 years. Hollywood can't even write. <laughs> yeah, bro. What's this guy talking about, man? That's why we can't stand the people like that, man. But the scripture says, he that be righteous, let him be righteous still. And he that be filthy, let him be filthy still. And we're starting to see that, man. It's getting to that point where people like that, man. Just got to go. They just got to go, man. They ain't going to repent. You can't. What are you going to tell a guy like that, that you've gone that far? They're gone, man. The Lord put them on that level to keep them <laughs> yeah. there, man. What the fuck is wrong with these way, people, Way, way, way low. Way low down there, man. That's, that's anger. That's, this, that's that, that. That kind of stuff makes you angry when you hear. The, it's just Your disrespectful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How did man get the strength to disrespect like that, man? What are you talking about, man? 
But these are the same man, they're gonna be balling for God, yeah? They're gonna be balling out. Hey, but you know what it is, we know what it is, man. You know, these are the same, the same, the same guys back in the wilderness that were, were complaining. Scoffing and scorning, man. Worshipping the calf, golden calf. Complaining about, oh, why are we out here? Let's go back to Egypt. <laughs> you know what I mean? These are the same guys. That's who we're dealing with right now. Those guys. <laughs> Moses is like, fuck. You got, you got me leading these guys out? It's the same, that's how we feel, man. It's like, we got, we, we got to deal with these, Jake. I know. And then the fact of the matter is, we're the only ones giving all the answers, man. The only answers that's putting everything together yep. is from the scriptures because we heard it all. We heard the Muslims ain't got, they ain't got, they don't know what they're doing. They might don't know what's going on. The black consciousness dude, they don't know what's going on. The Hindus don't know. They don't know these religions. They don't really know what. None of these books really got the prophecies and are bringing it out like like how we bring it out and break it down. Well, these Iranians are getting torn up by women at the moment. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> well, I wouldn't go that far. They what, they're just cutting their own hair off. <laughs> they got a bunch of men out there with them. Yeah, it's true. It's true. It's true, it's true. <laughs> That's the only reason why they're out there. They're out there because yeah. they got a bunch of men. I've seen the videos. Protection. They got a bunch of yeah. men. It's a, they because see that's Esau's wicked. He's making it look like it's a oh, female yeah, yeah, protest. Yeah, and when you work. see the video, it's a bagger man and then a couple of women cutting their hair off. If they were just women out there, if no one just come out with a truncheon and bust their damn fucking heads and they'd be running back inside. <laughs> just keep it real, man. <laughs> Go on, man. So verse 4 is saying, where is the promise of his coming? Right, they don't believe the most are gonna return and, and, and do a thing. You know, they don't believe the Hawashai is gonna come back and do a thing. No, no, they don't believe that at all. You know? But we know, we see, we know the Lord's coming back soon, man. Mm. You can feel it, man. It's getting spookier and spookier by the day. <laughs> yep. So for, for since the fathers fell asleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. For this they willingly are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High the heavens were of old. They don't really believe that the Most High created this earth, man. Yeah, they don't really believe that. Even a lot of these dumb niggas in the churches that say they believe that, they don't really believe that, man. That's just something that they just say. They don't really believe it. You know? And the proof of that is going when they take that MOTB, they take that mark of the beast. They really believe in this world. They believe in Esau. Church is just something they do on a Sunday. You know what I mean? That's just something they claim to believe in. <laughs> to look spiritual. <laughs> yeah, they, you know, they're not serious about them scriptures in any way. No, they're fucking lazy as hell, man. They're lazy. They don't know the nothing about the scriptures. No, the scriptures say study to show yourself approved, man. But none of you Jake study, man. <laughs> the church is a joke. <laughs> study, man. The church is a complete joke and everyone in it, man. And everyone's known that for years. I know that. I was in the church for most of my life, man. And I know it's a joke. It's an absolute joke. And the younger generations are getting worse. Yes. It's all a joke. Yeah, now, now they want to be hip-hop artists in, in, in Christ. You know, serious, shit. you know, that's what they want to do. What they, do. what they want to do is fucking make music, man. Rather than learn the scriptures. They're not serious, bro. That's their main, main focus in the churches now, to, you know, to sing and dance and shit. And they have no idea what's happening on a prophetic level. Nope. And the spirit, the scripture says the spirit of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. But they don't, they don't, they don't, they don't in, understand in prophecy. In that spirit. If you were to get any Christian and say, yo, can you break down the things that are happening in the world today in the scriptures? They won't have a clue. They just bring out John 3.16. <laughs> They're clowns, man. The spirit of the Lord ain't dealing with them. Now, if you talk to us, we gonna go in. Or the mark of the beast or anything like These that. These Christians are the that. ones that are dumbed down that the elites have got like wrapped up and under a spell. Yeah. They're, they're the main ones. They don't know what's going on, man. They don't see through nothing. Oh, these Christians, most of them were the ones crying back for the queen, man. <laughs> anyway, go on. Man. So for this, they really are ignorant of that by the word of the Most High, the heavens were of old, and the earth standing out of the water and in the water, whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished. For the heavens and the earth, which are now, by the same word, by the Most High's word, right, are kept in store, reserved unto fire, against the day of judgment and the perdition of ungodly men. That day is inevitable. That day is set in stone by the word of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai, man. It's not a thing that could happen. It's not a possibility. It's an inevitability. Mm -hmm. You hear what Agent Smith said? You hear that, Mr. Anderson? That's the sound of inevitability. There's, there's a date on the calendar, Most High's calendar, you know, whenever that is, it's stamped right there, waiting for that time to come. So there's a timer running out. There's a timer that's been going down. Tick tock, tick tock as time goes on. The scriptures speak about the Lord measureth the times and he don't stir them up until he will. That's in the book of Second Esdras. 
The Lord measures everything according to his time. Everything has its time. And right now, this world is coming right to the end of its time. The last days are the last days. The last hours are the last days. And you can feel it, man. If you can't feel it, then you ain't in the spirit, man. You're not in tune. Your eyes ain't open. Spooky times right now. Imminent. If everything seems imminent, you got to be on guard out here. Toes, ten toes. This is um verse eight says, Beloved, but beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing that one day is with the Lord as a thousand years, and a thousand years is one day. Right, we're not we're not working on the same time scale, man. You know what seems long to us, man, ain't ain't, ain't nothing to the Heavenly Father, man. So men get complacent, or men have become complacent, thinking the Lord ain't ain't coming to do nothing. Because it's been like thousands of years. Since the Lord was on the scene, and nothing's and happened since then. Time has gone on like, like for us, like usual. Now they watched Joe Rogan and some pussy all on Joe Rogan said, "Oh, well, you know, Jesus wasn't a real person." <laughs> it's fucking, a fucking, you know. But there's more evidence of him than Julius Caesar, though. Oh my. You know, which, 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 I guess that he wouldn't, he wouldn't debate whether Julius Caesar was real or not. But well, fuck <laughs> them anyway, man. <laughs> listen, man. We listen. Yeah. Can't tell me that anyway, and that's how it's gonna be. The elect, listen, it don't matter. What you can, you can. That's a hope. You know what that is? That's yeah. a hope. Oh, 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 oh. Game, listen, game, the bro. elect can't be fooled by none of that. We don't care about all that anyway. We all, we gonna be in the right camp no matter what. So you could do, even if, even if there weren't no evidence, we still believe it, man, because that's the spirit is on us, man, True. to believe the spirit of faith, man. Fuck these people, man. Fucking idiots, man. And that's how you have to be, man. Mm -hmm. If you can't get this and you don't believe, man, then fuck you. You're gonna die, man. And it's simple as that. You're gonna yep. suffer, man. You're gonna learn the hard way. Oh no. It says the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us with the elect. Right? He suffered the elect because you know, the elect have got to get right. We ain't perfect, but you know, we all gotta wake up, right? It says not willing that any should perish. Because that's not his plan. His plan for us is, is to survive and to, to, to succeed in this in this uh, endeavor, man. Right? On this path that we're on. Okay? So, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah, all the elect, because them goofy Christians will read that and they not understand. Peoples, yeah. Because if the Lord wanted all, if if he willed that all people should come to repentance, then all Bro. people will come to repentance, you donuts. Bro, imagine that though. Like you're waiting for the whole world to get right. Yeah, but what about the people that died and they get right? What are you going to do then? No, it's talking about the elect. The Lord is not willing that any of the elect shall perish, and they shall not. Didn't Yahweh Shai say, those that you have given me, no man can pluck them out yep. of my hand. Yep. So all of the elect are going to be, are going to receive this truth and are going to be delivered. Then none of them are going to fall by the wayside. And that number is being sealed every day. And there's going to come a time when that's it. The number is complete. See, this is the thing, right? This is here in Second Peter chapter three, right? And it's a, it's a, it's a letter or whatever to the churches. <laughs> it's like churches, right? The Israelites. So when he say us, would he's talking about our, the brethren, man? Yeah, we're talking about the world, man. This one, this one, this one, a letter that was sent to the UN. <laughs> it was sent I mean? to the believers. You know, man. announces to the world. No, no, it wasn't like that, man. It was to the churches, man. You know, to be read, in the, read amongst brethren, amongst Israelites in the faith. Mm -hmm. You know. It says, um, but the day, verse 10, but the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. And because you ain't watching, yeah, it's going to come that way, man. And things are going to happen quickly. Like we explained earlier, man, you people are not paying attention to what's going on. So of course you're going to get blindsided. You know, when it, when it, when it comes, it's going to come quick. The last thing them, these Jakes think is that Yahweh Shai is coming back with chariots, man. <laughs> yeah. You know, that, that's the last thing that's ever going to be on that's, their mind. That's spooky. But that's what's going to happen. <laughs> It says, um, in the which the heavens shall pass away with great noise, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. That's that nuclear threat. And you see, the thing is about this whole nuclear threat, right? Because, like, this nuclear situation has been ongoing really since the end 1947. This threat of nuclear holocaust has been hanging over the world's head since 1947. Why do I say that? Because 1945, you had what? Hiroshima and Nagasaki, and, um, Nagasaki right? America announced themselves as a nuclear power. 
Now, shortly thereafter, because the Germans had also developed um, this technology. And then you had um, Project Paperclip, whatever the case may be. And basically, that technology found its way to Russia. Right? And then we could go into the long history, but basically what happened is by 1947, once allies, because yes, Russia and America were allies. Mm -hmm. Fought on the same side. They fought on the same side. Against the Germans. <laughs> against <laughs> the, the Germans. <laughs> against Hitler. And and really the Russians bared um most of the casualties in that war. Mm -hmm. They fought a lot of hard fights, man. <laughs> yeah, the Russians, <laughs> yeah. the people who actually put in the most wor work to win that war never get the praise in the movies. Because mm -hmm. they always yeah, make yeah, it look yeah. like oh it was the Americans that came in. No man, the ones that really laid down the sacrifice down, yeah. was the fucking Russians and that man. They yep. put bodies on the line, you know, in Fair that, in that manufactured warfare, <laughs> which is also prophesied in the scripture. So then what happened was um, America, um, when you go into the history, the real history, Russia really wanted to be remain allies. But America decided, nah, it ain't going to be no ally status. We're, gonna, we're, we're just going to be the superpower. So then what happened was, you go into, if you type in Cold World, Cold World, <laughs> it's a cold word. Cold War? <laughs> if you type in Cold War into Wikipedia, it's going to tell you, and if I could get it, 1947. That was the beginning of the war between yeah. Russia and America. And they have been at war since, since 1947. Because yeah. you got different levels of warfare. You got you got psych psychological warfare you got what the um cyber now cyber warfare political warfare proxy warfare proxy wars most of the wars of the um well Maybe yeah so. in of the what did the 20th century were proxy wars vietnam afghanistan a lot of these wars that happened up in south america were all wars between indirect wars between russia and america even down to now, because the, the Cold War got rejuvenated, what was, what was um, Afghanistan? What was Iraq? What happened in Syria? Syria was a proxy war. Syria was a war between Russia and America without Russia and America fighting each other directly. Yeah. And even now you got Ukraine and Russia, but who's on the other side back in Ukraine? America and NATO. Yeah. So it's a proxy war. And more and more, they're coming out in the open and saying, look, we're really at war with America. <laughs> you, they, you know? They're just in for power, man. Yep. You know, because America trying to keep their hegemony, as they've always done. You know? But well, Russia want a piece of the world too. You know what I'm saying? They want to take them out. Right. You know? Now, you, you, that's why the scriptures speak about the third war coming quickly. Because here it is. World War II ended in 1945. And by 1947... Back in war. Russia and America are really back at it again. It's just, it's taken all this time for, for it to become direct and to fully encompass the earth. And that's what's going to happen. When the Lord is ready, pursuing to Revelation to 7 chapter, he's going to have it where it's not going to be no longer proxy wars and underhanded tactics and, and covert operations. They're actually going to go declare war on each other overtly in the open what they call it asymmetrical warfare mm -hmm. russian tank versus you know you know that's how it's gonna turn but you see how the rhetoric of nuclear war is just it's just there it's been hanging over everyone's heads and that's the whole thing behind the doomsday clock that they got is all yep, based yep. around that yep, yep. you know because these, these two powerful nations now got nuclear weapons now now if they were come to come head to head they could be used that's why they said the era where the soviet union fell they call it the era of peace and safety because they said, well, the nuclear threat is gone now. But, but, but hold on, it's, it's back bigger than ever. Revived. <laughs> this is Revelations 11 and 14. It says the second war is past, which is the third world war. And behold, the third world cometh quickly. We have already been in the midst of World War Three. It's just that it's not gone to the highest degree. Is war, World War Three is being fought right now. There, there's there's a, you, American special ops here in Ukraine fighting against Russians. It's been going on. It's just not direct, direct. 
in the open where they've announced it to the people, yo, we're at war with Russia and it's time to go it, get it on. That's going to come according to the script where well, the brother's going to read it. And it's going to uh, be a catalyzed in where? The Middle East. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, This is a book of Jeremiah 50 and 20, uh, 22. Mm. A sound of battle is in the land and of great destruction. Yeah, it's all part of the prophecy, man. It's, it's, a, it's a destined fight. A destined battle to take place. Gog and Magog. So you think that you're putting off this day. Well, you're not really putting it off. It's always going to come to this point at some at some time. Mm. Right? Because that's that's the, the third world. Right? As prophesied. Yeah, they call it a cold <laughs> war. It's going to become a hot war. Mm. <laughs> yep. It is from Ezekiel 38 verse 1. And the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Son of man, set thy face against Gog, the land of Magog. It was represents Russia because they dwell in that land that Gog and oh, Mago used to dwell in. See it here, Cold War. It had to be March, innit? <laughs> yeah. The 12th of March 1947 to the 26th of December 1991. And then you had that brief period. You know, they had the the the, 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 the button, the reset the Gor button. Or the Gorbachev, yeah, when Gor what's it, Gorbachev or whatever made that take. deal. And then what are they talking about? What's Putin been talking about now? The whole thing in Ukraine. Is Gorbachev. them talking about, look, they made this deal with Gorbachev and they've gone back on that deal. Mm -hmm. So we're going to have to go back into the, you know, you know. Because now people are saying, look, we're not going to hesitate to use nukes and all this kind of business, man. <laughs> they've been developing hypersonic missiles, so you can't. Not bluffing. <laughs> you're not bluffing, bro. I wish you were going to say that, though, innit? But the Lord it ain't about what you want, though. This is the thing. Yeah. It ain't about what, if, if Putin's bluffing or not. Is he serious? He's not. It ain't even about Putin. It's about the Lord. Yeah, Putin could die, but yeah. it don't matter. It's about the Lord, man. And when he decides it's time, to be used, the law will make it happen. But it's funny how that rhetoric is. is, is it's, yeah, it's saber only in. becoming worse, man. <laughs> yeah, you know, because they, they've been they've been the hypersonic missiles, so the the, the, the uh, defense uh, but missile defense. The thing is, as bad them. as it is, if you notice, the people in the average person ain't worried about. It. No, they're, they're not, not worried about. No, it. No, they're no, not no. like if you go back to the cold to, to the cold right, the Cuban missile crisis. Yeah, man, was people were actually shook. They were they were the average people were trying to build bunkers and da 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 da. Yep, yep. Now the only really people Stock that's up, building man. bunkers is the billionaires. The average person on the street is just kind of a football game. Nah, ain't gonna happen. Kind of watch the cricket, like yeah, okay, Whatever. all right, shit again. Yeah, because yeah. they've heard it so many times now. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, desensitized. Oh, they're desensitized to it, man. Yep. The destruction. <laughs> Yeah, and that's why it's gonna catch you on the way. That's why the Lord's gonna come as a thief in the night. Cause you, you thought you was alright. I can't believe that motherfuckers did it. <laughs> cause it's it, it, because in, in yeah. people's minds it's insane. But they convinced them it's mutually assured destruction yeah. and all this. So stuff. they could never possibly have them because people they don't think they're mad enough to do it. Well, it's like again, the boy you cried wolf, man. Well, like I said, again, it's not about what these leaders would or wouldn't do. It ain't about them. It's about the Lord, and when the Lord put the spirit upon these men, these leaders to do what they're doing, to press that button, it's gonna get pressed, man. Yeah, boy. Yeah. That's what's going to go down, how it's going to go down, man. Uh, Ezekiel 38 and 2, sorry, verse 3. And say, thus says the Lord power, behold, I am against thee, O Gog, the chief prince of Meshach and Tubal. Right, so it's not that the Lord is with Russia by any means, right? But the Lord will use Russia, is using Russia, to bring about this this uh, this, this third world war. All right? And a, a world war is is um this, this described as a war, a multi-regional war. So that's why it's gonna cause great judgment in the earth. Before the missiles even fly, they're gonna the whole world is basically gonna be at war with each other. The allies, NATO and their allies versus Russia and their allies, and they're yeah. gonna get busy. And it's gonna cause a lot of death. Because these na put the nukes aside, these nations have got what listen. They're the same powers, these, man. Listen, these nations have been piling up weapons. Mm -hmm. Weapons that will turn your house into spaghetti you know what i mean you have your house looking like rice crisp you know like when you drop a bag of rice you ever drop a bag of rice krispies on the floor in your kitchen that's what your house is going to look like before it even gets to the nukes because all these nations have been stockpiling weapons of mass destruction whoa, man. Whoa, whoa, whoa. check out syria right now man oh man <laughs> check syria right bro you like you, no one could possibly live there now but it's finished war you know? ain't like how it used to be man <laughs> these men have got machines they got tanks that let off them shells. They got artilleries. They got um, all these nations now have air forces with, with, with fucking 50 caliber weapons attached and all this madness, man. Real, real gun, guns. The, the world is filled with guns, man. The world is filled with guns. With bullets. 
It's Isaiah 9 verse 5 it says, For every battle of the warrior is with confused noise and garments rolled in blood, but this shall be with burning and fuel of fire. Right? It's not like ancient warfare where men went out to sword with swords and shields and shit. And all you gotta worry about is the dead bodies. No. Most most buildings are intact, some might have been on fire and shit, you know. No. We, we were building that. But this will be our, you know, it's gonna be a complete mess. You know, bombs and just dust everywhere and you know what I mean? All you can hear is bullets and Bombs. Loud man, loud bullets, fire. Don't we know where death's coming from? Hellfire missiles. They at, least, at least you can see man with a sword running at you. They actually call them <laughs> hellfire missiles, man. <laughs> Not your shit, man, you know? But like I said before you that you know you see death coming at you, you see the man with the sword. You see the ballista or whatever. You know? But you don't even know where death's coming from and you just Well, <laughs> oh, you ever seen them when you see them videos from Syria when them Russians were sending them missiles, man? Them man didn't know, listen, them man just heard something. <laughs> like, what's that? And then boom! Boy, the shit's coming, anyway, coming in low and it's coming in hot, man. Yep. Yeah, that's what's gonna be, man. Venezuela, um, Brazil, all these armies in the world, they're, they're armed to the teeth. Because the scripture tells you in the prophecy, uh, let that turn your um, plowshares into hooks, in, yeah. uh, and your pruning hooks into, into spares. And that's all these, like Saudi Arabia, they be getting that oil money, they be what, buying up buying up um missiles buying and fighter up fighter jets and fighter jets yeah, and yeah. weapons and they're gonna use it the dragons of arabia the carmanians all these nations are gonna have an opportunity to use all these weapons that they've been stockpiling mm. south korea china they're gonna use all of that yeah north korea they're itching man <laughs> itching to use like <laughs> north korea <laughs> yeah they're gonna drag all these nations into it man that's right uh, back in Ezekiel 38, uh, verse 4 says, I will turn you back and put hooks into thy jaws. Right, turn you back because like I said, you look at the history, you had the Cold War which is in 1947 and it ended in 1991 with the fall of the Soviet um, Union and where Gorb Gorbachev, however you pronounce Gorbachev. his fucking name, he signed a deal, I forgot what president it was. It doesn't matter anyway, you can look it up. True. And they signed that the deal and the deal was that NATO were not in they were going to create a buffer zone i think it was called the warsaw the warsaw pact that sounds familiar yeah. well, i believe it's the warsaw pact so you had these old soviet union bloc countries like like ukraine like um belarus like um georgia uh, and some of these other little fucking eastern european fucking dark lands yeah and they would form a buffer zone, a demilitarized to an extent buffer zone between NATO and Russia. And so the deal was that NATO was not, they said they were not going to expand beyond Germany. If I, if I, expand if I remember east, it. Yeah, it's something like that. I'm trying to expand east. Of Germany. They were not going to expand east of Germany. And that was the deal. And that deal was meant to ensure peace between Russia and, um, West. America and NATO, the West. But then what's been happening over the course of um, the 90s, after that, after 1991, what happened? NATO, uh, when was Yugoslavia? Um, Four? 94? Right, well, 1994, something like that. And then from then on, what's NATO been doing? Just conquering nations, expanding, bringing more and more countries into NATO. 95. 1995 yeah. and NATO's just been going around the world blowing people up like gaining territory in Afghanistan on and then you know what I'm saying just encroaching encroaching on Russia man and then so you had that man's in Ukraine you know what I mean it's now they're in Ukraine which is right that's what the whole thing is about because they put a puppet in Ukraine and started setting up bases and all these things and trying to draw different nations into NATO now you had my man Putin when he came into power Putin changed all that his first, Putin came in and he was like, wait, hold on. Nah. Like, we need to, we're going to go back to that Soviet Union state this, now. This, this can't run. <laughs> we can't do <laughs> this. Can't we do need to run. start modernizing our military. Yep, and we need ourselves. to start um, projecting our power globally too. Because they gave up on projecting their power globally because that was the deal. Because mm. remember, back in the Cold War, Russia was Cuba and all them mans and trying to link up with, 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 with um, South American countries. But then they took a step back and said, yo, we, we're going to chill. So the Lord put the hook in the jaw 
he used American expansionism to put a hook in them to say, you know what, we're going to start making military packs with African countries and we're going to start making more deals and with, with, um, Arabs and... With, with Arabs and making more deals with, with South America. We're going to put um, Navy bases in Syria and yep. what's that called? Projecting your power globally. And they started rev um, uh, fixing up their military, modernizing it bringing in new weapons, new tanks. Yep. And then that Medvedev came in and Medvedev stood there and watched S Syria, um, um, Libya be taken. And he was, Putin was like, what the, f nah, hold on. <laughs> so then when Putin came in, he said, nah, 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 nah. We're going overdrive now. We're gonna go on the offensive. We're gonna defend our allies. Not, and no more of our allies are gonna be bullied by the West. And that's why you got Syria. When, when, when America tried to do their usual tactics and take down Syria, Russia stepped in and said, you know what? Wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Wiped up ISIS, yeah, and protected their interest in Syria. And it was all political chess, man, because obviously, you know, America had their troops in there, but under these these terrorist cells, right? Yeah. These terrorist yeah. groups, right? And the Russians like, we're here to, def you know, yeah, we're fight against terrorists. terrorists too, because because no, everyone has to agree with that. Yeah, you know, I mean, like, it's funny that they no. blasted the hell out of ISIS. If America had been there for ages, <laughs> yeah, yeah. right? They could, and then they just came in and just <laughs> ISIS. They all went back to their their day jobs, man. They said, "Fuck <laughs> this, man," because these Russians came. They meant business. But like I said, that goes back into what. The scripture, the prophecy said would happen. That bear, Russia, the Lord would put hooks in their jaw and draw them back into what? That warlike, imperialistic spirit where they're going to be a global power. They, will, they are going to be a leader among the nations. And that's what we're seeing. And Russia's even leading the BRICS. So on an economic and financial level, level they're being a, a leader onto these different nations. Yep. And then they're like, even when they done the thing with the gas, they say, yo, certain countries, you man, you can only buy from us with rubles, but them other countries yeah, that yeah, we're yeah, dealing yeah. with, don't worry, we'll accept your currencies and we'll work out something between us. Mm -hmm. But them pussyos <laughs> over there, anyone that's rolling with them, then yeah, yeah. guess what, man? You're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do it the hard way. Yeah. Uh, and we're that's sure what's they're doing. their rights to do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, it's their gas, the oil, and, and you see them putting pressure on Europe right now. Europe's <laughs> <laughs> on the pressure. Out here. <laughs> Germany's hurt. Yeah. <laughs> well, so I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws and I will bring thee forth and all thine army, horses and horsemen and all their tanks, their, 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 you know, their, their freights, you know. And you see the mobilizing, they're, they're getting it, they're getting it, they're letting the people know like, yes sir. Yep. So all of them clothed with all sorts of armor. Okay, they're, they're decked out, right? Even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, Ethiopia and Libya with Persia them. Persia is Iran. Mm -hmm. well, Ethiopia, Libya, Russia still got their links with in, in, in Libya so they're going to be joined onto, onto them too this is all of them with a shield and helmet Goma and all these bands Turkey, Turkey, right? Yep. And Erdogan, he's, he, 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 he playing that role right now He's playing the fence, but he's going to roll with that Russia role right now Because he don't really like the, 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 the West anyway Yeah, Turkey's always pricks. been that, that <laughs> European that's not European Yeah, you know? and he, he, he actually thinks they're, they're pricks anyway you know, but he wants the the, the, the security and the, the, the deals and that. But he want to do the deal with Russia now because he he need he need, he need, the, he need the gas, right? So he he, he happy to switch sides. Not only that, yeah. The way things it. work in geopolitics is sometimes you you join the side, not only the the winning side, but the side that's promising you what you want, and mm. they want they want certain of them Kurdish Kurd Kurd Kurdman lands. <laughs> so the Russia can say, yeah, yeah, you can have that. That happened in. Yeah, if you go back to World War Two, that's what happened with Italy and them man. Them man was switching Switch sides. Side, like, yeah. like, okay, look here. Yeah, if you join us, you see this piece of this country's land, we'll we'll put that under your territory. So, like, alright, what? We're gonna get that? Alright, we're with you, man. I think Italy swapped sides at three times, man. Mad people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Some real <laughs> no honor. <laughs> and that's gonna happen too in this world war. A lot of these countries that's on the fence or riding with America right now, they're gonna treacherously bounce over to the other side and then we know eventually that in the all of nato is going to bounce over well we know we know saudi arabia is a, is a u.s ally on the paper right hmm, yeah. but they've been wanting to, they've been inquiring about joining the BRICS nation because under russia yep so what, what kind of contention that tension is that gonna you know bring well you know well, the, the way the geopolitics go the reason why saudi arabia does their sales of oil in dollars is because they saudi arabia contract. was a weak nation their house of sword weren't nobody, man. They were a bunch of fucking 
They were, but they were basically a little crime it. family in Saudi, <laughs> on camels running around with swords. Still, them man didn't even have guns. They were, they were still riding around on horses. Esau came, found oil, set that whole situation up, and then gave them back the the um the uh, management of the oil, and then he cut them a deal because they didn't have no army. These man didn't have the Middle East. Was, them man were on no level to 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 deal with America, and these, these dudes had already had fully modern armies when these men were on camelback <laughs> so they were like okay boom what we'll do is we'll cut you a deal you sell your dollars i mean you sell your oil in dollars and we'll protect you now the question is does saudi arabia think that they need the protection of america in 2022 <laughs> there's, there's options on the table there's options man you know, you know yeah. there's definitely options out here for them and so a lot of these nations are gonna, but it's prophecy too. They they are gonna deal treacherously. Keep dropping this thing. Man. Boom. This is um, what was it? This is uh, Goma and all these bands. It's verse six. Goma and all these bands. The house of Togoma of the North Quarters and all of these bands and many people with thee. Be thou prepared. And, and many people. So China. Yep. China's with them. North Korea, probably Australia too. <laughs> Don't be surprised. <laughs> Japan. Japan. <laughs> Right now, they're allies of America, but listen, man, you know Japan don't like America, really. Like, yeah. even though Japan don't rate China, they got, a, they got a feud going back. China didn't drop two nuclear bombs on them. So we, can, <laughs> we already know that Japan, at the first opportunity, they're so going to flip, flippity-flip. Yep. So be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company. And that's what they're doing now. They've been, like I said, go look it up. Over the, over, um, the last... 20 years russia has been modernizing their army building military um uh, 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 bases. Uh, bases um projecting their power globally by building more alliances and military packs throughout the throughout the earth right they got the bricks part of it going right e they've been preparing e even the fact that they cut off the gas to europe is their show of power because mm -hmm. they have something over you well they put them on you siege know? yeah you know that's projection of power and right it's there. starting to get cold now for the <laughs> summer ain't nobody yeah. been using the heaters yeah, so no one we miss it too much but. but now it's starting to get cold you have to start using the heating now so <laughs> it's about to get peak yeah so these are these economies are gonna get hit. and the more economic stress these nations go under that will lead to war yeah. so that's why we know that this place is gonna collapse financially then it's gonna be chaos you get the mark of the beast and then you get the war because these countries collapsing into their own footprint will eventually Trigger leave that, that listen we might as well just go to war because that's what happens when you have times or, or when these countries are, are, are stre stressed out then you have to have a war to fix it all and it consolidates mm -hmm. the people mm -hmm. you know whereas before it's chaotic they, you know they're like oh, fighting for cause now or whatever you know, externally, you know. When everything's Someone all good, man ain't gonna go to war because everything's all good. <laughs> everything's sweet. Man are too busy living. Man are too busy living the life, like yeah, going to parties. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, um, be that. But when everything's going wrong and you you got all you got to do is point the finger, man are already angry. It's Putin's fault. Oh, that's what you see it there. I mean, already pointing the and finger. And vice versa, yeah. Putin and them man can point the same finger. Ah, oh, it's these man's fault. Yep. It's the dollar. America, they did all this. <laughs> so be thou prepared and prepare for thyself, thou and all thy company that are assembled unto thee, and be thou a guard unto them. And that's what they've been doing. So now, basically, ever since um, ever since you had um, what's it called? Syria. Syria was like a massive um, Syria was like a a, a massive wake up call to the world to say, look, man. The world, America, if America is bullying you, if you side with Russia, Russia will protect you. Because Al Assad is still in there. He's still there. He's still doing his thing. You know, don't hear much from him these days, but he's still there. Now, before, if, if America wanted to deal with you wicked, ain't it? <laughs> so a lot of nations had to just, you, if, whatever America says, oh, they say, oh, vote in the UN a certain way. Yeah, man, yeah, we're going to have to do that because if they want to, they're just going to make oh, up a reason. Now, now, if you got Big Daddy, 
if you got Big Daddy with you, that's why Iran's still standing. That's why Syria's still standing. That these guys know, listen, we got Russia backing us. You fuck with us, Russia gonna come in, they going they they've already given us the weapons we need and they got a pact with us so they'll jump in the war. All of a sudden America's gotta be they gotta be doing the T tactical in the, yeah, 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 yeah. You strategic. Know I mean? They gotta start moving in their tentative. Can't, can't use bare brute force. They can't just come and roll you over like that, you know? So that's what it means. Be a guard onto him. And that, you're seeing that in real time right now. That's why, like I said, that's why Syria hasn't got a next Donny that, that in there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Even in Venezuela, they got Don in there. So, this is book of Jeremiah 53. For out of the north, there comes up a nation against us, which shall make our land desolate, and none shall dwell therein. They shall remove, they shall depart, both man and beast. Yeah, Russia being used as that main antagonist against America, man. Because there's other nations involved, man, but Russia's really one that's, you know, setting it yeah, off they're, like that. They're the strongest of the other team, man. And, uh, you know, that's why, you know, <laughs> like we mentioned earlier, they got the hypersonic missiles, man. They're the ones that got that technology that can destroy America within an hour. Missiles and, that can reach there in 30 minutes. And the thing is, as well, they're a killer team because China and Russia they got the resources to fund their own militaries and do what they got to do. You see, these men have got lazy. America, a lot of the shit that they have, they rely on other countries to make certain components. Like they rely on China to make components for their own fuck for their for their military. Mm. Whereas Russia don't rely on no one. They got their they can make their own weapons. And who's their ally? China. So they just source and each other up. They got resources. So hey man. So it's getting ready to be a sweet, a sweet beef, man. Man's independent, man. <laughs> you know, when you when the missiles hit, man, they say made in Russia. Made in Russia, man. <laughs> Russia with love, you know. That's what he's gonna say on it. You know, when China shoot the missiles, gonna say it's made in China. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But you know, China got numbers, military personnel. You know, they got a man reserve and all that shit. Russia got a man reserve. I too. think they just launched their first um, aircraft carrier as well. So oh, yeah? not first, but. They make their own aircraft carriers as, as well as now. Even the Iranians are making their own shit. And even the you Americans know? admit that the um the the country with the best air air defense system is, is Russia. Russia, which completely counters what America's number one um advantage, which is aerial. <laughs> yeah. So the yeah, could the Lord wants it to be like that. The Lord wants it that when this war kicks off, don't get it twisted. When this war actually goes hot, Casually ain't it just going to be a yeah. thing of oh, uh, there's just going to be a bunch of dead Americans and no man, casualties there's going to be casualties on both sides, and that's why it's going to get to a point where they they're going to be this. like, yo, we need to end this war because if we don't end Too this much. war, there ain't going to be nothing left. So it's like, listen, we just need to sacrifice America, America. <laughs> and then that's what's going to happen. The, the Europeans, they're going to have that evil thought because they're going to be facing. Listen, when Russia bring it to Europe, man. <laughs> 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 Hey. And it's beautiful and it's good. I'm glad that America is going to drag Europe into this war and they're going to get touched. And rightfully so, because they've been bullying all the other nations with America. Now it's time for them to get to face real war again. <laughs> and that's why the Lord said about the, the heathens kind of getting one over on, on, on America and these other nations, man. Because they're going to be a, a part of that war dealing out some death, man. There's I mean, gonna they're gonna get damaged. destroyed too, but they're gonna there's, get some. Oh, well, there's gonna be damage, man. They're but gonna get some damage. In Second Ezra 16. Mm. You know, this gonna make the earth desolate. This war is really gonna be tearing shit up, man. Because you imagine these Arab nations that are being fucked over for all these time for, from American and, and British troops and whatever, man. They're gonna get their chance, man, to, to, to get some revenge, man. You know, and they're gonna have success. These nations, <laughs> they got they got um, navies, offshore and submarines. Yeah, some reason start reach. launching <laughs> hell, man. No one knows where they are, that's all shit. Yeah, it's, it's mad, man. But like I said, before that happens, you're gonna see a complete um, financial collapse and bringing in a new system that's gonna um, be the mark of the beast system. And then they're gonna fight over the control of that system. Mm. Uh, this book of Jeremiah 51 and 1. That said the Lord, Behold, I will lay up against Babylon and against them that dwell in the midst of them that lies up against me a destroying wind and will send unto Babylon furnace 
that shall find her and shall empty her land. For in the day of trouble, they shall be against her around about. Right, the war is going to be brought to the shores of America. And then it's going to be nuked. What time? Yeah, okay, no. Yeah, then it's going to, listen, and the whole entire area of America is going to be destroyed with thermal nuclear destruction, man. And it's going to be beautiful, man. The great American military brought to its knees, man, destroyed. And it, it's going to be all of their own doing because guess what, man? They, if their managers chilled, it never would have happened. <laughs> they push for this. But the Lord put the spirit on them like the, 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 the lead the world in this in this way. And it's like it's like a loop, you know. We know when guys try to change the, 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 you know, trying to change the future, but going back in the past and thinking that they're gonna change something that's yeah, gonna alter the course of his, or history. No, you're run, you're making yourself run into that same history, man. That that same outcome. Everything you're doing is leading to that yeah, this very moment. Heart, they're not backing off. They're not backing off. They're hard. They're saying, oh, we need to give. They're trying to give the Ukrainians more weapons. Russia's just like, bro. I've told you, like, you like chill. <laughs> but they just, hey, but they're gonna keep pushing and pushing, and then them Israelis is really gonna do something stupid. Yeah. Because now I, I heard that the Iranians came out the other day, and they were boldly saying that they could they can attach nukes to to um ICBMs now. So then, then you know them them gutter rats over there want to try and find an excuse to to do something stupid. Yeah. And when they do do that, the spirit of the Lord is just gonna just bring it all in man but like i said before all of that happens you gotta have the mark of the beast man winnie, 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 winnie. but we're only winnie. we're only the a one financial winnie, collapse winnie. away from that yeah it's all right, man. we're only one financial collapse away from that man and like i said you see how the stock market be losing you see the liquidity crisis that's happening right now you see the the way the dollar is is, is causing a problem Go on. And we sent, I mean, for the day of trouble, they shall be against our uh, land about, against him that bendeth the, and against him that bendeth, let the hatcher bend his bow, and against him that lifted himself up in his brigandine, and spare ye not, our uh, young men, destroy ye artery, <laughs> all our host. There's a terrible judgment, man. So if you're launching nukes, yeah, that means you don't give a fuck, man. Oh, the civilian. Listen, when you're launching a nuke, you don't give a fuck about civilians. <laughs> and this is the hypocrisy of America. Oh, they're Christians. These dudes are Christians. They're so merciful. Listen, you launch nukes, bro. In the civilian area. Oh no, human <laughs> rights and 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 we trying to, you know. That that what on the scale of things, that's the largest war crime. Oh, that's uh, taking place. When you launch an atomic weapon on a city, yeah, that's not. You know they're like, oh no, you have to take out military. Targets. Yeah, yeah we're military. Oh, oh, Russia bombed the school, brother. Listen, <laughs> when you launch an atomic weapon on a city, yeah, you give no fucks. <laughs> that because. Cause that that mom ain't taking out no you, military. Yeah, you, you have no morals. You got no morals, bro. You morals are out. You you morals are out the window. Yeah, you got you you America gave up on the moral high ground so long ago. But in terms of warfare, you when you bombed those two Japanese cities, bro. Yeah, two with, two no, with one. atomic weapons. Yeah, <laughs> that was you scorched the earth. You showed you have no love for humanity. <laughs> so I don't know what these men are on. And then when they ask the guy, Give, giving birth to kaiju's now, <laughs> kaiju's. And, but when they ask the dudes, they say, "Then we'd do it again." And America's yeah, yeah, never yeah. apologized for that. Nope. They've never apologized for dropping them two atomic weapons don't, on them cities, don't, man. Don't you think that burns the Japanese people? You don't think that burns them? Giving birth to kaiju's and never got an apology, man. <laughs> But they're vexed. Uh, they got to be vexed, man. I'll be vexed. The zoonoids. When they get the opportunity, man, these Japanese people are not, not going to fuck with America, man. This is a scum, Especially man. when they're so close to China and Russia. <laughs> it's not worth it. How are you a Christian and you got all atomic weapons, bro? <laughs> how are you? Hey, oh. But that's the prophecy being fulfilled with Esau having that great sword, that the great red horse. Red yeah, that red horse, man. That great you know, sword. Revelation 6, 5. I think. It's a fulfilled prophecy. You know? But a Christian, you see, these people don't live by. See, Volcab Malone has got a problem with that. But your government's got nuclear weapons, bro. <laughs> they got nuclear weapons, bro. It's for peace only, though, isn't it? Yeah? <laughs> you, we got Bibles, and we're the worst people on the earth. 
But these men have got nukes and they've actually used these things, man. A man are going to like a rock and then place with depleted uranium rounds and shit. Like, what, what the fuck is wrong with these dudes, man? Big, big straps tearing people's flesh. <laughs> and we're the worst thing going, like. <laughs> anyway, go on now, go on. I know, brothers, we got. Uh, okay. uh, thus, the slain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans. So annoyed. And they are. Uh, I mean, and they that thrust through in our streets. That's bad. Oh. So read that again. <laughs> Thus the strain shall fall in the land of the Chaldeans, and they that are, thr are, are thrust through in the, our streets. For Israel has not been forsaken, nor Judah of his power, of the Lord of hosts, Though their land was filled with sin against the whole it's, one of Israel. Ultimately, it's also for our sake, the elect's sake. Because yeah. the Lord is having our enemies be destroyed. Because they're our enemies, man. Right? And they're gonna, the Lord's going to use them against themselves and come in and still finish them off. And America's going to get a great judgment, man. man because they ignore... They don't really give a damn about what they've done to the so-called Negroes, Hispanics. and they don't, Especially the Native American Indians. They don't give a fuck. Ain't no one getting cancelled for that. No one cares what they did to the nation. As far as they're con concerned, that's ancient history Manifest and destiny. that's done with. Like, you can forget about it. What they did to the Native American Indians, man. They stole a lot of land, man. It's almost like they don't exist, bro. Like, they just left them in some annuals somewhere. You, you know, know how big America is? For you to steal a land mass that America's fucking massive. Yeah. And they just went and took all of it. Yep. All of it. They didn't even say, even and, if they would have just stopped and, at and New York and Boston. Of it. <laughs> they had none of it. Even if they had just stopped at like New York State, Boston State, down to Florida, right? To the East That's Coast still a massive something. amounts of land. When you, and you add Canada to that already, but we're just yeah. talking about United. That's still, but you're talking about, you took the whole deep, the deep south, yeah, the, all the, fucking, west. the Midwest <laughs> to the west. That man just took the whole, whole thing, thing, slaughtering, killing, murdering, raping, man. And think the Lord is just gonna let that go? Went to the islands and, and, and you know, no, you know what I'm saying? You did all of that, man. It wasn't enough for you. Nah, no, blood. You, 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 the Lord is gonna make sure that you're gonna get peppered. You, you, the, America's gonna fall in, into a place so disgusting, so chaotic, and so disgusting that people are gonna be trying to leave America. Understand what I'm saying? You see the same way, people. When, when this, when. The, what happens happens and that place collapses which it is you think people are going to be running from mexico to get into nah blood man's are going to be trying to get out of america to get into mexico Wait. and the mexican army are going to be clapping you like no you ain't coming here but they showed that in the purge one of the purge movies oh or, yeah, or this, yeah, or the yeah, series, yeah or whatever yeah, yeah. it was man you know they man are trying to get out of america man they're going to try to go to canada to mexico they're going to be trying to run up into canada because america's so wicked and demonic them demons in there, that's going to be the hell of all hells. Yeah, yeah. Like LA? LA is just going to be just disgusting. Demons, demons, right. Demons, right. People are going to be like, I need to get out of this place. You got all these hungry people that ain't used to not in having certain comforts. They're not used to having their Twinkies. They, got, they ain't got their medication. They're going to be bugging, man. Bugging. Bugging. <laughs> yeah? And they're going to be trying to flee America. They're going to be at the airports trying to get out. Mm. You think the third world is back? You wait till the first world meets oh. hell. Yeah. First world going to be worse than the third world. Cause at least in the third world, people know how to live in certain conditions. It's going to be like Constantine. I saw a deal. <laughs> yeah. It shouldn't be here. It shouldn't be here. <laughs> in the third world, when a man have blackouts, like if you Nigeria have a blackout, everybody knows what to do. Yeah. Standard. In New York, if there's a blackout, terror, man, terrible. <laughs> there's madness going on. You go to certain places in the world, blackouts is normal for years. Oh, it's blackout, all right, cool. Get the candles out, knock dominoes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's past the Oh, time. what, there ain't no food? I mean, you know, they've been through families and that. It's like, all right, cool. Man, I eat this rice with, with butter. <laughs> These men in America got to eat rice and butter. They're ready to go kill somebody. Where's my steak at, man? <laughs> what do you mean, rice and butter? They're too pampered, man. Too gluttonous. <laughs> Especially these middle class crackers, they're gonna lose their minds, man. This is from Joel chapter 3, verse 1 says, For behold, in those days and in that time, when I shall bring again the captivity of Judah and Jerusalem, I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. 
and I will plead with them there for my people and for my heritage Israel again for our man. sakes for what you've done to our people you know this is what this is why this is happening man and they are gonna they are gonna send their armies down there into the Middle East to back up this war and it's gonna it's gonna grow and it's gonna the theater of war is just gonna become global but it's gonna start in the Middle East and you know what proves that is you got um, in they say in Ukraine you got Chinese rolling up in there too <laughs> helping out you know practicing and doing their thing so the same thing's gonna happen when when like I said when them gutter rats attacked Iran it's gonna trigger off the Middle East to go all out all them because the world expected to defend Israel right because they made those those treaties and then right? them man they're all gonna jump in to protect each other yep. and they've already been practicing being one unit just like our NATO like NATO, remember NATO is all different armies. Yeah, now, in order for different armies to work together, it's not as simple as Just bring them together. Oh, I got my army over here. We're going to join your army, up. and we no. You have to have uh, um, preparation. Preparation, because you need to understand different your, your your communications, your tactics, and be able to communicate and coordinate in a war. Mm -hmm. That's why the, the the Ukrainian army is NATO ready. They say it's NATO ready because the the most of the Ukrainian well most of them are fucking dead now but most of the Ukrainian army were already trained to be incorporated into NATO so all their codes are are compatible with NATO right now Russia's doing the same thing that's why you're having these ex when you hear them having these exercises Game and these drills. war drills what they're doing is I'm learning, we're learning one way of warfare Operation. between us. Mm -hmm. So if we have to come together, you ain't doing one thing over there and we're doing one thing and we can't communicate, our codes don't match up. Because you gotta be cohesive. You gotta be a cohesive unit. Mm. So what's gonna happen is these nations are all ultimately gonna be like one force. So you're gonna have Chinese troops coordinating with Russian troops, and they're all coordinating to fuck up um, the gutter rats and the Europeans and vice versa. Just like NATO kind of already is like that. Because remember, NATO's not one army. Yeah. NATO's a British army, the German army, the French army, but they've had time to be yeah. able to have the, the same, what's the word format. for it? Format. Like format a, yeah, or yeah. standards or whatever you want to call it so that they can work together. You can't just sling two armies together and expect them to be coordinated. Mm. They have to know okay, different, different yeah. battle plans and all that. Kind Cold, of stuff yeah, they have it. to know a way of doing things as well that is similar. Mm. It's just like football or, or sport. You can't just throw like eleven men together and they're all used to different formations and different and think they're gonna work. No, yeah. you have to spend time working each other and say, yo, this is the this is the playbook, you know. So it is. What it is. Yep. Yeah. So hey, <laughs> you see that man? This is um. Whom they have scattered among the nations and part in my land. Mm. They have cast lots of, for my people and have given a boy from Harlot a sold of gold for wine that they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidon, and all the coasts of Palestine? Will ye render me a recompense? And if, a ye, if, and if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will, will I return your recompense upon your own head? We've got all them heathens down there in that rand, which there are Jake scattered among them. But all them heathens out there have gladly taken parts of our land into their possession. So they're gonna suffer in them. That land is gonna be death onto them. Yep. And it's gonna get hot down there, man. And it's gonna get hot quick. When that shit escalates, it's gonna be a domino effect. Boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden, Hezbollah's jumping in. Yeah, Syria's yeah. going all out. Everyone's going all Taking out. Opportunity, yeah. And 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 the Israeli state, they're gonna have it coming from both, all sides. Oh shit! They have to call in the reinforcements, man. Yep. And you know the American army is always are in and there, there and thereabouts. Hell, they might fuck, them Russian men might fucking have to attack them first because they already know they're going to well, get well, it. It is a state, isn't it? <laughs> state of America, you state, know? Yeah. <laughs> hey, it's going to be a madness, man. People ain't going to believe it. You know why? Because it's after all the shit that's already going on. Mm, and now you got this. That's a lot to deal with, man. Yeah, but that's why it's, it's called the worst case scenario. Hey, that's why it's going to be complete chaos, man. You know? And now that's a, it's prime time for that whole MOTB and everything because there's shit going on. There's so much shit going on. So it's got to be done about it. So he's going to make the opportunity, of course. Verse 5. Because you have taken my silver and my gold and have carried into your temples my goodly pleasant things, the children also of Judah and the children of Jerusalem have ye sold unto the Grecians, that ye might remove them far from their border. Behold, I will raise them out of the place where ye have sold them and will turn your recompense upon your own head. And that's going to be through the chariots. See, the Israelites that the Lord's going to deliver from America are going to be delivered 
through the chariots out of the destruction but then they're being delivered to be brought back into the land you know and that's what the the um the marriage of the lamb is all about gathering together the israelites from the four winds and bringing them back into the lands man of israel but by the time we go back into the land of israel man it's gonna be it's gonna be cleansed man because yeah. warfare is gonna cleanse that up man because these weapons are gonna be used man and it ain't gonna be pretty what time is it yeah we're gonna we're gonna wrap up in a bit most of them city like i said they they all they set up this they built all this and you know what them 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 iranians are gonna do to them cities <laughs> and we know damascus is finished as well because yeah, yeah, that's, that's in halfway. isaiah the 19th chapter that's already halfway there <laughs> damascus is gonna come it's gonna become heaps yeah completely destroyed yeah but it's like all these all these nations all their buildings they're all gonna be just destroyed anyway. yeah all that, fan shop. all that fancy shit that saudi arabia built over there yeah it's going to them fancy skyscrapers the Dubai and all, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah fucked up yeah the, the angel he, like the angels definitely gonna make sure it's all gone anyway you yeah. know and rightfully so yep that's all the dubai man verse 8 and i will sell your sons and your daughters into the hand of the of judah sorry into the hand of the children of judah and they shall sell them to the sabians to a people far off for the lord has spoken it so yeah. lord don't you know the lord you know my slavery as long as it's the right way around, yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? Get it, man. All these nations that, that are left are going to go into captivity, man. Yep. So proclaim ye this among the Gentiles, these heathens, the other nations, right? Prepare war. Is that not what they're doing? Is this probably not happening right mm -hmm. now? Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let them come up. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pungy hooks into spears. Let the weak say, I am strong. Assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together round about. Tiva calls thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be wakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat, for there will I sit to judge all the heathen round about. Yeah, all the heathen round, because that, that Middle Eastern area is going to become a cheese, going to be a, a strainer. The amount of holes that's going to be put in that place, man. It's going to be a mad, and then that, that, that war is just going to become a world war. It's going gonna, it's gonna to grow, and Europe are going to taste it, Asia going to taste it because that the, the american military is situated all over the world and they're gonna gonna get it man mm -hmm. south america all of that the pacific in the oceans on the islands it's gonna be a mad thing yep it says put ye in the sickle for the harvest is ripe come get you down for the press is full the fats overflow for their wickedness is great multitudes multitudes in the valley of decision for the day of the lord is near in the valley of decision the sun and the moon shall be darkened and the stars shall withdraw their shining and the lord shall shall roar out of zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem, and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But the Lord will be the hope of his people mm, <laughs> see? and the strength of the children of Israel because he's our power. Because when it looks like there ain't no hope, the Lord is going to make his return. You know, and America is going to be destroyed. And then the armies of these different nations are going to be completely destroyed yeah. and removed from the earth. They ain't going to have no armies. No need. The only thing that's going to be left is slaves. There ain't going to be no soldiers. Mm. All these soldiers are going to be blasted off the face of the earth. <laughs> Soldier man. class. Go on. <laughs> all the warriors. Warrior class. Go on. And you see all them, man. I see images of them Russian men getting signed up. Hey, the judge, the Lord, is, the Lord's got certain men that are going to have to die as soldiers in that war, man. They're going to have to go. They might not want to go, but they're going to have to go. They're going to have to fight. Mm -hmm. There's men walking around right now. They don't know that they're going to be shipped out. Or they're going to have to... They're gonna have to get some quick training, some quick two, three day training, and they're gonna have to send them well, out that, there with a gun. Well, you man were prepared to. Well, what? the Call of Duty man, and then they're gonna realize you don't respawn. Is it? We had those guys trying to trying to enroll in the Ukraine army when the whole thing was going down, acting like a hero. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but, you, you, you but, need your opportunity. But don't you worry. heard a lot of them run, right? Yeah, of course they. When did, the man. when the artillery started, when the, yeah, when a lot of them dons that volu volunteered to go over there to help the Ukrainian, the foreign legion, when the Russians started. For the Russian had air superiority. Huh? Like, oh, we're gonna we'll, we'll close up in a minute. When the when, go now, yeah, 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 we're yeah, gonna yeah, go. Yeah, okay. The Russians had air superiority, right? So they were just murking off the Ukrainians from on top, right? And then all of Americans and Brits and that them man said, nah, allow it, and they they they, they tried to well, leave. They're not soldiers, man. You know, <laughs> they wanna be. You know? Hey, because this is you there with your joke. gun and man, just blowing yeah, yeah, shit up yeah, around yeah. you. You feel like you're a sitting duck, which you are. And that's the reality of modern warfare. In yeah. modern warfare, you can literally be the biggest, the toughest soldier, and a know. missile just drops on your head, and you get me. And then you ain't getting respawned. You're just gonna see the death cam. 
You know, <laughs> while your spirit's going up to the spirit world, and you just see your body in pieces. Well, that's like, what I mean. What? You know, like saving private ride when they, you know, bottled up to that island, man. You think a casual is gonna go there and just do what? Just get mullered. That's, yeah, gonna that's get what mullered. they said. You're gonna have to. Casual, man. What but was yeah, it, what was, a, what was a serious thing. But like I said, we're in spooky times, man. And all these final prophecies, that's what we're looking for, forward to, and that's what we're looking for. And the first, the next step is the fight. It's the financial. World War Tree, the, the the decimation of this financial system, which is going to bring in the the uh, the the famine and all of that stuff and the chaos and the 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 the, 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 the all these things, which is going to lead to them handing out that chip because you people are going to need it to eat and all that stuff. Then we're going to get the, these nations bringing the warfare to each other. So listen, man, these things can happen at any time. The financial system, you already see that it's moving like. It's in the 12th round and, and sitting on the ropes, ready to get clapped. All right? So, spooky times, man. You know, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, man. Spooky, spooky times. So, we're going to close up. So, say, Ka Halal, Yahweh, by Shem, Yahweh, by Shem, And double honors to the apostles, the elders, a great millstone. Honors to you brothers out there in the highways and the byways. Shalom. Shalom. Shalom.